Hey everybody, good morning. Welcome to Mine O'Clock here in Studio J. Uh, still in my house, still doing my thing. Hope everybody's doing well this morning. Hope everybody's keeping safe and doing what they need to do. We are here and we are ready to play some Minecraft. Uh, I hope all of you are ready to play Minecraft. Yeah, yeah. So many floaty things. Uh, friends? We're just going to get friends in right away. Hello? Wait. Hello? Hello? Hello! Good, how are you? Nope, you're not. You're not partying like a rock star. You always say it. You never are. Uh-oh. People are subbing and stuff. I didn't bring up the lore bot. Oh, God, I'm not ready for this at all. Oh, God. Everything is broken. One second. Uh... We can't hear your friends. Oh, right. I don't think you can hear them on the scene. Hold on. Uh, let's try this this one. Nope. Hey. Chat, can you hear me? There you go. Now they can. I had to switch to the other. I forgot that it's not in that boost scene or not in the uh, weird scene. Now you can hear them. Hold on. So you have Discord set to automatically be muted when you're in the booth? Uh, I don't have my... Um, uh, system audio in the it wasn't in the booth it was the intro that goes to the booth so Very there's like the intro scene which yeah. ends and goes to the booth but isn't the booth scene and oh, that doesn't it like have automatically my, kicks you forward or whatever yeah that doesn't have my system audio and then wait hold on how do you play music then if it doesn't have system audio i'm I have. Well, so you 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 are a you professional you are a professional streamer, right, Serge? <laughs> yeah. So you mute but... the mixer. You know how... mute the mixer, but the 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 video has audio that gets pushed oh, out to the, the stream. Oh, the video has audio. You just have it plugged in as its own source. So I figured the... I figured, oh, you don't just have YouTube open. No. Ah. So the well, so obviously the video, the intro video is its own thing but my intro music is also its own source i have the huh. mp3 file in obs I, I see jordan is really loving these uh surge craft images here i'd they're, like to i'd good. just like everyone to know that i had no input or control over these images whatsoever this is purely <laughs> what seraphina decided to inflict upon everyone yeah that's fair uh sorry really quick conspicuous compiler 64 months uh Aceliador for 51 months, Azure Shock for 27 months, Pills 753 for 26 months, and Rcrads <laughs> for 27 months. Thank you, uh, everybody. Um, all right, so we're here. Uh, we're ready to play some Minecraft. I'm going to turn on my actual music now, which is Spotify, not YouTube. <laughs> yeah, you see, when I was doing the Spotify integration, that confused the hell out of me. Why would you? Yeah. So do you use YouTube search? Well, I don't play a lot of music, but when I did, I just did YouTube, yeah. Oh, uh, okay. So, like, when I run Big Giant Circles, when I'm going live, I have YouTube open. And when I go to fade it, I'm literally grabbing the, the YouTube volume slider and fading it out. Oh, my God. I, I mean, that's, that's... I do the same with Google Play. So, I use Play Music for all mine. And I just do the same thing. Look, it worked for me. I never thought it was a problem. I didn't realize I was a, a streaming peasant here. You, <laughs> you sure are. <laughs> Uh, all right, so hey, we're we're in Searchcraft, uh, and fun fact because this is where I'm going to log in. Um, this is where we actually built uh, the moon base, uh, and I didn't log myself. I didn't change anything, so I'm going to be in the moon base here when we log in. But James, we're supposed to be working from home, and um, so I figured uh, I guess we could start with a bit of a tour of this place. So, I can show you right over here. Uh, I'm going to actually just quickly... I'm still... In, thank you. Uh, so, we're actually pretty close to um, our base. Like, the Gigaloo is, like, right over there. So, we just came out here, Serge and I, and uh, built up a little structure. And uh, I don't... This switch doesn't need to be here. We can probably go get rid of that. Uh, and this is kind of how we built this. So we have our sub wall. Um, these are the, this is how we sort of did our doors for this. We did a nice uh, chisel and bit trim around all the doors. Um, 
the idea with this was it's the uh, the cable for the camera. Um, we've got our, our pictures, our TV, our wine glass. Uh, here's the crokinole board, which you can see in better detail. You can see I, I chiseled and bit that whole thing. <laughs> um, so I took like a wood plank and cut it down, gave it some depth. Uh, added some black in the middle for the hole, and then some iron blocks for the pegs, um, which worked out really well. Really well, actually. I like how that turned out. Uh, Studio B, we just kind of gave a little. Those are like the nano leaf lights. Um, the logo was chisel and bits, and and kind of quick. It could be way better than this, but again, we we did this in a couple hours. Um, here's our outside windows. Here's uh, our equipment room, which we actually didn't do an anything with because we didn't need to. It was pointed out that technically this cable actually should have gone into Studio B. So I guess if we use this again... Uh, sorry, just one second. Uh, yeah, I guess if we use this again, uh, we'll fix that up. And then you come down to the Studio C, and this is where we spent a good amount of time. Serge actually, like, gave all these depth, which you might not really have seen in the in the fly-through, but these all have depth for our shelves, which look really good. Uh, we gave him a couple computer monitors, and this is where Paul would normally be, and this is our lighting grid that we made. I'm pretty proud of the lighting grid. The, yeah. the cameras the cameras are fine. Like, they're they okay. scan as cameras. Yeah, like, they're fine. Um, and then the way that Surge actually got to Studio C, we actually just dug a little hole here. So in the intro, Surge was standing right here doing his thing. And then when I circled past through the fly through, he just broke that bookcase and came over here and just came up inside here. <laughs> God, the magician's tricks. Yeah, it's just to hide over here. Ignore the man behind the curtain. <laughs> uh, and then obviously this would be props and costumes, but again, we didn't need it. We just closed the door. Uh, banners for all the curtains or all the uh, the, um, the Venetian blinds. We did a little bit of the hallway, uh, including the two windows that are out there, which was kind of cool. Uh, put in the everything is fine sign, which I think I got in shot, but I can't remember. I watched the intro. I didn't, I didn't really see the everything is fine. Yeah. But it's there, and then we got you know it's our there. couches and and we know it's there and stuff. So I think if we end up using this again um, next month, we could probably uh, come back and and uh, you know tweak it up a little bit, make it even I better. Think, I think my favorite detail, James, was actually the uh, the wine glass in the corner here, which is just two it's glass just... blocks stacked on top of each other. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> And then yeah, we didn't obviously we didn't need to make any of the uh, the offices, yeah, so we didn't we didn't really bother. Right. But I also like that we didn't bother with the kitchen. We just made this like black wall here. Yeah, like technically speaking, because like the fly through starts like this, and then you turn over here, and then you come this way, and you would have seen in in reality you would actually see the kitchen back there. Um, and we just sort of decided. Uh, not to not to worry yeah, too much about it, it only shows up and shot for like half a second right yeah uh, do you still have your field of view set to what you shot for the like your mouth smoothing or did you fix yes. all that stuff no it's at 60 so this is okay. actually normal thank you for reminding me i was just like why does your minecraft look different <laughs> uh -huh. avi says if you want any help you know i am willing and available we definitely talked about you. Yeah, Saturday is just a bad day for Avi. Yeah. Apparently. But uh, I, I'm pretty happy with how this came together. And again, yeah. I'm if, really happy with how this came together. I mean, this was literally the idea that we that was born out of our meeting on Saturday morning. Like, we got together at 11. to Like, we'd already more or less decided what the rundown of the show was going to be. But we hadn't decided how we were going to do the fly-through. We had talked about nope. it. And during that meeting on Saturday... It was like, wait, we could do it. We actually originally discussed doing it in Animal Crossing. Um, but then we were like, wait, we could do it in Minecraft very easily. So yeah. then Serge and I hopped in on the server for like, yeah, about two and a half hours, I think. Saturday so it afternoon. was like at 11, we had the meeting. And then at one, we were done the meeting and done lunch and actually sat down and started work. Yeah. And then at 
four, Paul hopped into a call with us and we started trying no, to get the time. It, right it wasn't even four because you and I had another meeting at 3.30 that we were only a few minutes late to. Oh, right. Like, wow. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Like we did it and like we we got this done in about two hours and then Paul hopped on and we recorded the actual like fly through and then we were good to go. Yeah. So yeah, I'm 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 very happy with how it came together. Um, get rid of all this stuff in my inventory. Uh, I, Remember, unlike don't, Surge, don't don't shift click. It'll destroy everything you're wearing, which I only learned the other day. I didn't realize if you're in creative and you have items equipped and you shift click, not only does it clear all of the blocks that you have there, but it also destroys everything you're wearing. <laughs> So, so wow. I, I ended up having to replace all of my diamond gear and all of my enchantments and my elytra. Um, that was the cost of this bit. The un the unspoken of cost of making the moon base was losing all of my stuff. I, a smart person, just put all my stuff in a chest over in the gigaloo. I put all my stuff in a chest, except for what I was wearing, because I didn't oh. think it would happen. <laughs> I mean, I didn't put what I was wearing in the chest, and I still have it. Of course, I only have a broken iron helmet and some elytra that are about to break. <laughs> so, uh, it's not You're a so big deal. geared out, dude. You're so geared out. Do you want me to, like, repair that for you? <laughs> That's fine. Look, I got all my stuff. Uh, <coughs> all right. So, um, let me just quickly... My second monitor with all this. I, I really miss... Streaming from home on the Lure channel is harder because you have to have more windows open I just need to just need to to fix this just give me like half a second here oh god that didn't do it oh you have to have more windows open because there's only one computer as opposed to two I understand so when you alt tab uh, I get it I get it. How do you, when you're playing Minecraft Surge at home, yeah. Do you, when you, because you can't uh, full screen, do you alt tab to get out of Minecraft and get onto the other stuff? Yes. So there is a program on Steam that I've been using since I started streaming from home called Full Game Something, and it actually uh, puts Minecraft in full screen mode where I can actually like hit escape here and go over and it doesn't minimize when I interact with my second monitor. So, so I, I, can... I use Minecraft in a window, but it's full screen. So Minecraft shouldn't minimize when you get out of it. So, all right, uh, when we talk about that, if you hit escape and you have your mouse cursor available, so if you're in the first person view, you have to alt tab to get out of it. If you have your inventory open, or if you have, uh, if you've hit escape and that menu is open, the mouse cursor can move over and interact with like OBS or something outside of it and it doesn't minimize Minecraft. The one thing I do though, is I don't like, um, I don't like alt tabbing and then having the menu open and then people can see when we're outside of that. So I actually, there's a setting inside of Minecraft where you can disable it. And mm. it's, it's, if on lose focus, don't open your menu. And I think oh, that's actually okay. a little bit smoother. So people, I can give people a view and I can click on like notifications on the side or adjust things. And it doesn't block the view with the menu is, cool. is the one change that I have. Cool. Yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> what do we I was about to ask, what are we doing today? I think we need to, uh... I don't know. Power. <laughs> yeah. I feel like I we need to... Up. really explore a, a second power source. But our, our solar panel snowflake is so cute. It is cute, and I do like it. But... Oh, I'm so we could... right. Thank you. So we could do some simple oil. Simple oil would be easy enough. Uh, so canola into a canola press, into a fermenting barrel, into oil generators would be relatively easy. Why is... I guess it's just been a week since I've been in this base, but I kind of forgot how bright it is. <laughs> <laughs> you put down all the... Lights. It's all the it's lights all and all the snow biome. And it's all just like white and blue. And it's very, I don't, 
So when I was doing the Joe Stotska build, something that I was constantly shocked by was the reflection of Minecraft in a snow biome on my face when I'm streaming. Just the amount of light that yeah. it casts when, like, when your base is so bright. You're I'm like, so, oh, I look terrible on camera now. I, my blue, because my, of my Minecraft Yeah, my face. face looks horrible right now. I'm so blue. Yeah. Um, the one and only Kim, thanks for that two year sub. Appreciate it. Um, okay. Trick is, don't look at your face. <laughs> yeah. Problem is, is that they all have to. Um, yeah. Okay. So canola oil is what you're saying. Like that that's a really easy one. We don't have to get into the whole empowered and refined um, and stuff on that, the refined canola oil. Right. It seems to be well, the go to for most people for like the easiest to scale power solution in Surgecraft 2 is some type of oil system. Yeah, I mean the other op the other option is going more IE and that's like diesel. Uh, which requires a lo load of big machines. So uh, canola is is quick and easy. I like quick and easy. Um, and we can we can build we can build like a little basement or we can put a, a little section. I think we can put to it put like the generators in. I mean we've got a lot of space. We could put like a little bit of a, a power station over in this this area right here. Do we, I don't know if we'd want to put power in in the gigaloo. I think I think that's fair. Yeah, uh, if I may make a suggestion, we here, could put it out this way. We could put it out back. <laughs> no, hold on, hold on. I have an idea. Oh, it's it's nighttime. Um, let me just do a quick sleep here. Oh, I can sleep. My bed's right over here. Sleeping. Slept. Where'd you go? All right, head up top. Take the teleporter up. Okay. And then I believe it's this way? Question mark. We have, we have that very handy dandy cave, right? Oh, the one like out. It's over here. What's on that side? Wait, oh, uh, there. no, it's right. Ow. 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 Can you get to it from over here? Yeah. No, I no, no, you're right. Can. It's on the other it's side. The other wow, side. you made a mess here, James. I didn't do anything. <laughs> what? What's all this water? You didn't do anything. I didn't do the water. The lights did the water. I did the lights, but... Uh, yeah, obviously. Okay, so right. I know what Serge is talking about. We have, yeah. Wait, how, how do we even get to it? Did you seal it? No, it's right over here. You said, you say that, and then you continue to keep flying here. And yet I'm oh. in, and, and yet I'm inside. It's right here. Right? Yeah. I mean, yeah. This... Like, we already have this huge cleared out area. Weren't we just there? <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, just on the other side. We didn't have a way in, though. Yeah. <laughs> Why are you just hiding in that dark corner, James? Uh, because I was just getting a good view. Don't worry about it. This is... I mean, yeah. Like, this works. What is with this... What? What is this animation on this? Oh, what the? That's just on your side. That. <laughs> that's real weird. What I don't know what's going on there. What is this? So that's supposed to be fire, and it's a fire torch on my side. Do you have a weird texture pack installed? Oh, I have. I. Yeah, I do. <laughs> <laughs> Fixed. I forgot that I put fa or the messed up version of Faithful that I have to look at the oh. moon base the other day. <coughs> Are you going to work? It often just takes a bit. Hello, Uno. Yeah. There we go. Put something in here. Could dig out. Dig out back a bit. So what, uh, what, what do we need? So we need something to grow canola. So we have cloche. We have we can steal one of those cloches. Is one going to be enough? I mean, we want to scale up a power source that we never have to worry about again, right? I mean, we could, we could steal a couple of them. It's Why no wouldn't problem. we just make like 12? You know what I mean? Like forget one or two. Let's just let's just design the perfect system we want and make enough cloches to actually handle all of that, right? 
So the way oil's technically meant to work is rather than scaling out in just amount of oil that you produce, you scale up in complexity. So what you can do is you you can just crush the canola oil and then you can put it into a fermenting vat to make refined canola oil. Then you can throw uh, canola seeds into it to make it a different kind of oil. And then you empower a seed and then throw seeds. In. So you increase the complexity and that gets you more power. You can expand outwards. I mean, that's, that's also good. Uh, but it, it's, yeah, it takes up a lot of space at that point. Oh, what the, what the, what happened? Why does everything look horrible now? We've completely lost James, you know. <laughs> like, James, what? that's just how the Kegler has always looked. What is going on with these textures for these pipes? They looked fine. I disabled my resource pack. Why do they look like this? Uh, I think it's F3 and T will reload the resource packs. Everything is broken. Can I just go back to bed? You're having a rough day, James. <laughs> uh, power. I just want to crawl into bed and and punch trees in a different game. <laughs> yeah, so notably, it's all of your modded textures that are broken. Well, that didn't do it. Everything kind of vanilla looks fine. Weird. I guess... Okay, hold on. I'm gonna just restart. That's fair. Um, here, while you're figuring that out, I'll be right back. I need to use the washroom. Do, 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 do. Try again. Oh, that's, that's, that's not good. There we go. Yeah, also, it's still March. Um, Till tomorrow. Yeah. Till tomorrow. I guess it's closer to April where Uno is than where I am. Uh, the ghost with the most for 32 months. Insert random 32 month joke here. Thank you. Appreciate it. That's true. I am. Uh, it is almost April. <laughs> so if I take my three by three. So what? Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. So I, I can run some. I'll I'll start running some cables over to the that power area. Sure. From the uh, from the controller. Should I start making some cloches, or do we have some, or do we need more? So we 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 have those two cloches to start with. Uh, we need to run power into that area as well. Because we'll need right. to you know get the power out of there. Uh, yeah, other, yeah, make some closures is probably a good place to start. Let's see if this fix things. Hoot! Yay! Everything is fixed. Uh, I do have torches. Okay. Laser wrench. Are there fireworks in here? No. Okay. Okay. So, are there closures in here? No. There's those two closures that we were using for string. Where did they go? I thought they were still. Uh, like place, aren't they? Over, did he, did over he take the old. Them down? Are they in the old? I thought Surge broke those all down. Uh, they're in the new base. They're up. Um. Oh, they're up here, right? Yeah, they're up by the storage drives. Yeah. Okay. Uh. So yeah, let's 
just break all this stuff. that out. Are there any greener options for power? I mean, we were using solar. And yeah, it, it's biofuel. It's canola. Making lots of string. String, string, string. Hey, Wrath. Uh, not much. Playing Minecraft, doing my thing. More firework rockets. Yeah, something I haven't done is a creeper farm. Okay, so these are all going in there. So we've got two garden cloche. Do we want more? Uh, I mean, more, more the better. Treated with uh, Serge seemed Serge seemed horrified at the idea of not more. I feel like, yeah, we could do a few more here. So we need, shoot, what do we need here? Um, so it looks like we need treated wood planks and iron mechanical components. One, and more iron plates. Okay, let's actually teach the system. Oh, shoot. Uh, treated wood might be tricky, but I can go and get you some. Yeah, if you want to go grab some treated wood, that's probably wise. How much how much treated wood do you think we want? Um, I don't know, let's do six cloches, so twelve. Okay. Can I make Why is there no Okay. Uh Beth, thanks so much for the twenty five months, appreciate it. Thanks for counting continuing to entertain us all. You're welcome. Okay, so um Put all this crap away. Let's go upstairs and grab that. Oh, I need to shoot, that's why. Yo, not Greg! Thanks for that 27 month resub. Appreciate it. Okay, let's go grab the rest of this. Uh, let's actually fill up my battery. I have an axe. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Forgot there's a pad right there, so I'm, I'm dumb. Ah, there it is. Laser wrench. How do you make firework rockets here? Uh, is it three pieces of paper and a piece of gunpowder? It's not giving me, that's what I thought, but. It doesn't show, it never shows up in JEI for some reason. That wasn't it. I return. What's the recipe for gun, uh, for firework rockets, Serge? Uh, paper and gunpowder. You just need one paper and one gunpowder. Oh, is it just? Oh. You can Got do. It. You can do multiple gunpowder to one paper, and that's yeah, how you get the two and level three. one, level two, and level three rockets. Yeah. All right. Uh, wait. Didn't I just? Ch oh, right. I charged that, but it charged up my drill. Uh, okay. Have we decided on a power system? Yeah, we're doing uh, the uh, buy it like the the oil and stuff like that. And we have we decided on a location? Yeah, 
where we talked about it. Fantastic. Oh, may I make a suggestion, James? No. No suggestion. What is your suggestion, Serge? I was going to say we punch a hole in the side of the Gigaloo for easy access. Yeah. Uh, if you go down the uh, processor uh, tunnel, uh, down the processor elevator, there is a, uh, a tunnel that I've dug. Or you can dig it, or you can just punch a hole into it. Yeah. Are we out of power? No. Yeah, that's that's the problem. Why? Oh, this okay. is... Uh, um, I'm going to I'm going to detach the ice generator. Actually, Uno, would you like to detach the ice generator? I don't think we're going to need it for a while. And anything non-essential that's taking power right now, we should cut. Uh, it shouldn't be taking power at the minute because it's it's a separate system. Uh, and it it shouldn't be functioning because there's nothing for it to actually break at the minute. Uh, what else? What else is drawing power then that we can disassemble? Disassemble. Uh, I've put your load of treated wood in there. Thank you. Uh, yeah, we if we have... continuously try and access the storage system and we can't because the power cuts out, then we've got a problem. Uh, this has got full power. Gold, and... redstone, copper. Shoot. Let me try okay. this on the battery. Glass. Nope. Nickel. Does this work here? No. We need the hammer, I think. No, these two batteries are full. Uh, so. Is the power actually cutting out on the system? No, I think we're okay. Yeah. Both the batteries are full. There's like 4 million RF saved. Uh, let me check the batteries down here. Yeah, how are we doing for resources? We, we are a little bit overdue for a uh, mining session. That's full as well. What? Oh. Wait, engineer wire cutters. Oh, it needs to be the plate first, doesn't it? Yeah. Hammer. Hit it with a hammer. What did I do wrong? What did I do wrong? Vacuum tube. Glass. Oh, wait. Does it need to be chiseled glass? Should just be any glass. Oh, it's nickel. No, it's a nickel plate. Copper wire. Redstone. I mean, the stupid workbench oh, the needs blueprint. blueprints. Yeah. I've never liked the workbench. Because you can just use a crafting table. You don't actually need to use the workbench, right? Oh, really? To, to do these? I thought so. Uh, for vacuum tubes, you need the... No, you need to... You, you need to use the equipment workbench. Do you? And, oh. Engineer's blueprints, and I just... God, son of a... Redstone. Glass. Wire. Nickel. Uh, okay, so that goes here, and then these go in here, and we get the vacuum tubes, and then the vacuum tubes go into here, and then we say garden closed craft 1, 2, 10, 12, 2, 4, 5, 6. No crafting CPUs are available. What? Who no. Just, I'm just using them. I want to use the crafting CPUs. There we go. What could possibly be more important right now? <laughs> okay, so we're gonna have eight garden cloches. Which seems like a good start. How do we, okay, this is your horrible exit and entrance, love it. <laughs> yeah, I figured I didn't want to make it any bigger than we can clearly see. I also don't want to mess up any of the running lights in the floor, so it'll do. Okay. It'll do. So. Um, we need to make this room larger, don't we? I don't actually have any idea. What else do we need for this? Uno? Uh, so, cloches. Uh, we need canola press. Are you doing that, or should I do that? Uh, if you want to do that. I'm going to move this elevator, because it's going to probably be in our way. 
doing something that has been annoying me for a little bit. Do we have canola? We don't actually have any canola. <laughs> so I guess that's one other thing to go and do is find some canola. All right, I'm off to go find canola. You just punch. What is this access tunnel down here? Here, I'm gonna. I'm gonna put all these. Um, Yo, Venara, thanks for that 17 month resub. So appreciate it. Uh, the, boop, 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 boop. the access tunnel is where I'm gonna run cables. Okay. I just like it's like I found some dark, dirty secret. <laughs> I mean, I did. I did say that. Uh, like I made a tunnel. James, like you probably don't want to. You probably don't want to go down this your, one. Your, your hammock here. I feel like I'm just walking around cleaning up after my children. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, you probably don't want to go down that one. I did, and it was a mistake. <laughs> out of sight, out of mind. I've told there. you this before. Uh, yo, cannolia oil has just subscribed. Thanks to Mary Cat. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, okay, where do I find canola? I think canola is something that is a random drop just for like dirt stuff. I like your little stack of cloches in the corner, James. Yeah, I hid them for you. It's like um, it's like a yellow seed, a uh, yellow plant. You'll see it ah. uh, out in the world. Wait, is All this? Right, I'll race you, James. I found it. Oh. <laughs> Worst well. adventure ever. <laughs> yeah. this well, we do have an adventure. So you need to find eight. I've, I've done. I've found... I mean, okay, so I can... Okay, hold on. I mean, well, one at first, but he'll train others. <laughs> I, I have ten canola and four canola seeds. So just give me a second here and I'll find... You're only one. halfway there. What? What is this? What is this structure? Uh, those cobble things? Unless that's Uno... I think sometimes those just exist in the world. They're just boulders. Ah, uh, they're just they're yeah, like, yeah. They're just boulders. Don't blame me for everything. <laughs> I mean, it's so much easier. Yeah, no, I'm sorry, you know, I agree. that's fair. <laughs> I, 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 I mean, agree. half the time you wouldn't be wrong. <laughs> I'm going to make the the hall of cloches. Yo, Ellen Jewel, with that 69 month resub. Only one thing to do here. Nice. What, what's that? Oh. Say nice. And nice. dab. And dab. I don't have a whole lot of room to dab in my room, so... Actually, I guess I can dab this way, but this is so unnatural. Who dabs to the left? Heretics. Dabby. Yeah, exactly, heretics. Ooh, Black Lotus. Ooh, found more canola. You're rich, dude. I mean, how do you double dab, you know? Boom. Alright, I got eight canola seeds. The sinister dab. Nice. Okay. Now, obviously, this is okay. Right, the canola press. I need to make a. So, yeah. do we only need so one need... canola press? No, we we'll want multiple canola press. Um, eight cloches should be able to supply eight. Canola presses. Sorry, James, what's the <coughs> final count of, of presses you want to have? We're going to make eight canola presses, it sounds like. No, 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 sorry, cloches. I thought you queued up more, or are you just going to stop at eight? No, we're doing eight for now. But for now, we're final. Let's just say final. Okay, perfect. Eight, eight should be enough. Yo, Whedon Project, thanks so, so much for that 71 month resub. So close to my mythical six year sub. Soon. Okay, I'm 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 getting sidetracked here. Let's make um what? Do cloches need space between them or can they be stacked side by side? Uh they can be side by side. Alright, I've finally finally done the thing. There is another crafting terminal there. <laughs> That's probably wise. Okay, uh so canola press. Okay, so we need to make eight of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Perfect. 
and then we can go like this and we can go one two three four five six seven eight perfect okay i've got eight canola presses Serge, what are you doing uh i'm making a pretty home for the cloches do you have okay where do i put the presses in re relation to the pre the uh the cloches so we need to get the canola out of the cloches we also need, hold on, we so, probably need to get power to the cloches first and start producing canola. That's probably step one, right? I mean, and then we also need to figure out how we are storing that output so that we don't end up with a backlog. So they they would backlog, uh, but they, they'll they just stop at that point. Stuff comes out of the canola, uh, out of the canola, out of the cloche from this front position. And we need to get water into these, and you can feed water into the bottom. Wait, you've placed these backwards. Isn't this the back of them? Uh, no, that's the front. Uh -huh. You can rotate them, though. Why would the front be covered? Wouldn't you want to be able to see nice and easy what's going on? Yeah, you can like rotate the, them. Isn't, isn't this the front? How is this not the front? This is a front. I mean, when I place it down, this is the, this is the way that it faces, presuming the players on this side. Ah, uh, well, you broke that. Whatever you've done, you broke it, Uno. <laughs> it doesn't look like it's rotated on my screen. I'll just replace it. I'm not saying I'm I'm right. I'm just saying it's wrong. <laughs> See, <laughs> that's way that better. Games? Yeah, like and that then, looks so way better. So what we would better. have is the output would come out of the back. That's How much fine. does that break everything, Uno? We don't need to see the output, actually. Yeah, because if the output comes out of this side. Uh, it would be much cleaner if everything just went out the backside. So I'm going to rotate all of this. I mean, you could you could even if you push them back in against the wall, uh, you could take the output through the wall. You worry about function, and I'll worry about aesthetics. Okay. <laughs> you haven't seen how ugly <laughs> these cables are going to be. Everybody, everybody has their own things that they're good at, and uh, you you're the brains of this operation. See, look how good that looks. We're all doomed. <laughs> I don't know what, actually, James, what do you think you contribute here? Very little. <laughs> no, he's, he's put the seeds in. I mean, the audience, right, I guess. Gonna, how are we going to power these? And ironically, do we have enough power to actually supply all of these so they can produce more power? Uh, we will do when we when we start going. Uh, and we can kickstart it. We can bootstrap it. Power go so it depends how we want to power them. Uh, power goes in the top. Well, uh, lasers, right? So we can power it with lasers. We have done some Xnet power. Uh, uh, we're, we're all about those lasers, right, James? Well, isn't the idea that this is going to just power itself and we get the excess power? Yeah, yeah. Well, we could just power it with lasers. That that works. And then we tap into the lasers. So we just want a bunch of relays on top of them. What? You... Oh, you're just okay. Uh, the problem is, is that I don't know a pretty way to get the lasers down here. I think that's going to be really interesting, uh, especially not only pretty but symmetrical, right? Yeah. Uh, I can do it with because like my, my biggest uh... issue with the with the ice thing uh, that where's Uno my, made is that it doesn't there? line up with anything. Serge, did you get rid of my elevator that was here? Yeah, I did, yes. Oh, where where is it? Where was it's it? It's back in the storage system. Oh, because that's how I was getting down into my tunnel. Oh, I'm sorry. It, I figured it was going to get in the way just where that was specifically placed. And we just had like a way to walk in and out, right? Yeah, but I need to run cables. I want to run cables in here. Uh, All right. Where did the uh, presses go? You know, do you have the presses on you? No, I have the presses no. on me. I just don't know where we're supposed to where we're supposed to be putting them. Oh, and you were saying where did the presses go? You couldn't find them in your inventory. No, I ha they're right here. I just don't know where <laughs> they go. Right. Oh, okay. So like, where we're going to place them. So we're going to feed items into the canola presses. So the thing the canola will come out of these and go into the canola presses. So where where do you want the canola presses to go? I don't know, sir. Uh, give me one second here. Uno. Let's make sure we understand all the steps here. 
So step yeah. one, you have a canola press. And then a canola press, or sorry, a, a cloche. And then the cloche goes into a press. Yep. And then use use blocks and tell me how many more steps there are after that. So the press will then go into uh, fermenting barrels. Okay. So the, the barrel needs to touch the press. Is that the best way to do that? And uh, like how much space can be between them? So the fermenting barrel can go like that next to the press and it will feed into it directly. Are there two barrels for every press? Is that what this represents? Yeah, it will do two per press. You could probably get three, uh, oh, but okay. two per press is generally. So we're going to need eight presses and 16 barrels. Okay. Yep. So we'll make some Next barrels. step. Let's, let's leave some gap here so we can visualize stuff. Okay. So cloches, press, barrel, barrel, then, then what? Then the output of the uh, fermenting barrels can just go into oil generators. And is an oil generator a multi-block? What, what does four represent here? That's just four generators. I can just do that if that's easier. Yeah, okay. So one cloche goes into one press, which goes into two barrels, which goes into one generator, and that's it. We just have these three steps. Yep. Yep, we could probably we could pro I mean we could probably get by with doing like two two generators per one for each barrel. No, Hold on. two generators per barrel, so you end up but getting some one, exponential so growth. Because then if we did that, barrel, that would mean we would generator. have four generators for every cloche. <laughs> no, I'm saying, I'm saying one generator per barrel should be enough. Okay. Catch that, James? We need 16 generators. Yeah. I think I could have actually... I don't know if that was automated or not. Um... Cloches also yeah. output siege, which I redirect to composters, which generate biomass that you can then burn into something that burns better, and I can't remember the name. All right. I read it. Ha ha! Ha 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 ha! Okay. Um, there, is a, there is a biomass generator. Uh, I was probably just going to... I was thinking about just voiding the seeds for the time being. All right. Next question I have for you, Uno. Yes is how are we transporting things so like pipes or conveyors like what what do you recommend as a way to get from here to here to here so the easy way of doing a lot of this is with xnet uh because xnet can transfer because this is not only items this is fluid that we're transferring as well. And XNet can transfer items, fluid, and it can transfer power as well. So are, is it a series of tubes? Like, how? Do, what does it look like? Or is that the only way to move these things? Uh, let me show you an example. We have some cable. Looking for more canola. So the cable looks like this. Mm, aha, found some more. Thought you could hide from me. Perfect. Ah, you get a lot of that stuff. So that's the cable. So it's actually uh, just a bunch of tubes. Yeah, but you can hide that cable in yeah. uh, facades. That doesn't look very exciting. What if we did something is there something cooler looking that does the same thing? Uh, I mean, we could use the fluid. We could use fluid pipes. Good lord! What do fluid pipes uh, look like? But uh, like I say, I can hide these in facades, and this can sort of take on any any block. No, like I, I think, I think we should incorporate whatever it is we're building into the design. Wait, you know what I mean? I like, design. sure, you can hide it, but I think that's. How do I make these not look like stone? Uh, just break them. Just break them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. just oh, break them. Oh, but then you have to pick the, the, the pipe back up afterwards. Yeah, it's fine. So what do you Interesting. Get just doing this? James, do you have any... There is a way of picking up. 
What? The other way of doing the fluids uh, would be with fluid pipes. Yeah, these big pipe things. Uh, but you have to be careful that you're not... Um, okay, you might need pumps on this as well, which is okay. awkward. The other thing is we could, yeah, we could use item and fluid lasers. So we could have green lasers and blue lasers going. All right, where, where... Uh, do you want to lay down the uh, the other tubes so James can see what we were talking about, the weird greeny tuby things? So we have three uh, options, excellent. James. Uh, we have wires, tubes, or lasers are how we have to our how we have to transport things. Mm hmm. Actually, don't care. Actually, <laughs> I think the the fluid pipes look the best. Uh, that would be these ones. Yeah, the middle ones. So I don't think we can take, I don't think fluid pipes will take the plant output out, but it will work for no. uh, the press into the jar, into the generator. So that works for the second half, but not the first half. Yeah, they won't, they won't transfer items because uh, they're fluid pipes. All right, well then let's not use those. Let's use... Uh, I mean, it could do conveyors uh, is certainly a thing. Oh, that's true. We haven't done conveyors yet. I mean, I, 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 I have become had somewhat terrible... of a conveyor expert, if yes. I if I, I just, may. If I, I may be so bold. I just have a terrible, uh, a terrible thought about doing it with minecarts. Oh God, no! Let's do <laughs> let's do conveyor belts. We haven't done conveyor belts yet in the space. I okay. do love me some conveyor belts. All right, I have. Uh, conveyor uh... belts require a lot of leather, though, and we don't have a good source of leather on mine o'clock. Uh, I'll go kill cows. You're gonna have to murder a lot of cows, James. I mean, at this point, it might be better. Uh, I do have. I did convert our uh, original igloo into a bit of a farm glue. Why don't I go? Wait. Why don't, why don't I give you some mob bags and you make a little cow growing area or something like that? How much rotten flesh do we have? Yeah, we haven't done any mob farm or mob whatever sort of thing in Mine O'Clock this season. It's only been it's only been building. It's been very little resource gathering other than ice. Got, <laughs> That's the only thing we've ever farmed is just ice. Like, <laughs> what do conveyor belts cost here? Conveyor belt, you get eight per three leather. How many conveyor belts do we actually need though? Uh, like it's a fairly small setup, right? Like we don't need a bunch. All right, so realistically, we've got thirty-three leather here. Like we, we can make. Fair amount. We can make... Oh, I guess we made a guardian farm. We did make a farm. Okay, so let's let's talk about conveyors. Because we need to we need to be splitting everything. Oh yeah yeah yeah. Uh, uh like I said like I said Uno, I'm a bit of a conveyor expert here. <laughs> right. So. Look, I've played a lot of Satisfactory. I know my con. <laughs> Oh, interesting. I have, yeah, I have, I have some inspiration. Uh, maybe go with me on this journey. I yeah. Also, there is a very good point that managing the backlog is impossible. Conveyors. What backlog? We're gonna. It's all perfectly gonna be processed. Don't even worry about the backlog. You just gotta believe yes. in the dream. Yeah. So here's my idea, James and Uno. My idea is. Uh, we're just going to have to make, if we're, especially if we're using conveyors, we're going to actually have to spread all of these out and maybe make the room longer. And so we'll have a conveyor belt going straight out the back of the cloche directly into the canola press. So we won't we won't be able to have them on two separate walls like James is laying out, although that is very pretty. <laughs> Wait. Wow, what an easy way to get experience. Oh, right, because your pet cat just generates experience every time you break things. Oh, right, you demonstrated okay. a loop, James. So, uh, to to illustrate, uh, we would have the cloche, and then we'd have, like, conveyor, conveyor, conveyor into the press, and then drum drum, or whatever those things are called. Yeah. And then we would just have to spread all of the cloches out. 
Ooh, could we do it? Uh, could we do like four on this wall and four on this wall? So it's absolutely, like, we could. Yeah, so it's like an angle now. That'd be cool. I'm gonna see how many so we could, I can make. We could do that if we wanted to. Um, then Does this the require turning the be... cloches around? What's that? Does this now require turning the cloches around? No, it, it's going to actually involve... No, 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 it's going to go out further because we want to make sure we have lots of space here. So this build is just going to get bigger and we're going to push it out in different directions. So you're going to push back, right? Yeah. So, James, when we're actually talking about exactly how many conveyors we're going to need, we have eight. So we're going to need multiples of eight. Uh, I think we should have the conveyor belt be at least two, if not three long, because conveyor belts... Um, only show the item on it very briefly. And if we're doing something aesthetic like that, then we need to make them at least long enough that you can you can have the items appear yeah. on them, right? So do so... I just make the base conveyor belts? Yes. Okay, yeah, so, yeah. okay, so right now I can make, I made 88 conveyor belts. Oh, that should be plenty. Okay, yeah, that's great. That means we can make conveyors up to 11 long right now. All right, so you want to make this... Uh-oh. Hold on, I have to pick these all up. Help, I'm broken. Who knows? How have you broken? Uh... Why did you break it? <laughs> uh... Uh... Okay, I'm not broken anymore. Oh, you, you were stuck between two yeah, opposite two directions. Yeah, opposite directions, yeah. Okay. I'm gonna... One second. You don't okay. One second. I guess I feel like the brightness on this monitor is. Let me take down the brightness. There we go. That feels better. Okay. Uh, the Lionist Badger, thanks for that 18 months. Appreciate it. Okay, so... Hey, I've added, I've added some away. new spacing here. Oops. Go away. Uh, Scope Creeper has just subscribed thanks to the Merry Cat. How dare you? Okay, so... <laughs> I'm feeling personally attacked. Wait, these aren't evenly spaced. Uh, yeah, they are. They should be. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. Ah, crap. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> How many did you want? Four or five? Uh, we want four on each side. So the idea here is, again, that we do conveyor, conveyor, conveyor Wait, four. into... Do you want four so, spaces or five spaces between these things? Five. Okay, that's right then. Okay. Yeah, so then what there's going to be, there's going to be an empty gap between... Oh, I made them too far apart. Uh, no, that'll be... Uh, maybe that's too far apart. I don't think they need to be that far apart. Yeah. Okay. Let's try. Let's try a new spacing here. I'll start think... from this side. Cause then, well, can I see? Can I see one of those? Cause like, yeah. My my idea was you do that and then like start here. Uh, nope, I would there. suggest we actually punch this wall back in. So my idea on that would be to go. And then have it wherever the equivalent is, like here. I guess it'd be here. Yes, that's correct. Because then, yeah, because then the presses are going to be back even further into the wall. Yeah, we the should. presses are probably going to be at this level where the wall is right now. Do we want to go one further back so we have the space behind the presses? Or do you want the presses right up against the wall? We could probably go one further back. So we do four on either wall like that. Yeah, so it's like... No. Uh oh how do I change the... Oh no. Yes, the current project is canola-based power. So we're just trying to make all that look good. How do I 
change the drill again. Uh, shift right click. That just opens up the augment menu. That's what you're after, isn't it? Well, no, I'm trying to, because it looks like it's only doing, well, it doesn't matter, surge is already. Maybe try comma? What are you, what are you trying to do to it? Switch it to a three by three. Do you have a three by three augment? Yeah. Is it in the drill? Yeah. I threw it away. Like, okay, well, I guess it doesn't matter because search is already doing this. Is the, are we out of power in the terminal? Yeah, it looks like, hang on. So we want this to be one, two, so we want the press to be here. Is that the idea? Oh, it's night time, that's why. Yeah. Uh, can I have the other uh, cloches, James? Uh, yes. Thank you. And then what's the space between there? Three? Yeah. And then boop, boop, boop. Like that? That looks kind of cool. Yeah! Oh, that looks rad. Boop. Ah! You got power, you got power. Okay. Oh, put it as the upper connector. Oh, right. Yeah, you're right. That's not the output in the bottom. Yes. I, I'm sure I've said that. Um... What do you want to have it sitting on top of? Just snow or something else? Uh, I don't know. So I got to break these. Does that mean we got to raise up the? Uh, yeah. yeah. All, all right. That's all you could have it. You could have it output into a hopper, and then the hopper straight onto the conveyor belt. Uh, let's grab. Oh, let's grab. That could actually look right, cool. Where my shulker box go? Wait. Yeah. Can't we just slope it? I I don't like how slope looks. I'd recommend we actually have it on top of something. Crap. I'm. Oh. I need to be right back. I I have a shulker box of like my building supplies for this base that isn't connected to, I'll, give me one second. I, I have a bunch of blocks. I have a build pallet idea. I'm gonna recommend we actually start integrating a lot of these um, permafrost bricks. And from the permafrost, <coughs> me. we actually just start like lifting stuff up. So um, what the, uh, help. Yeah. Oh, it, okay. This is on the three by three. It just didn't look like it was going to be. All right, we're good. All right. Where on earth is my end badge gone? Weird. Why are these white? Yeah, the grid, I think the grid is out of power right now. No. I don't know. It changed colors for me too, not, and then I couldn't access yeah, it. Yeah, now it's white. So it's white because um, I changed the color of the cable underneath. Oh, uh, I mean, it works because it fits with the theme of the build so far. So I like it. All right. So. Right. So do we want to lift up these barrels and, and presses then? Yeah. All right. I grabbed some building supplies. Now, using some of the blocks we had before, if you want to lift let's, that up. Yeah, let's do this first one first. Like, we could just do an entire shelf like that. And then I think it might actually be kind of cool if maybe our conveyors sat on ice or something like that. Yeah. So, so if you put... Like that and like this. And then boom, boom, boom. I don't know. We could make other things look interesting. Like we could put slabs down. Yeah, that looks. It looks okay. It doesn't look great, but I can. We can make that look better Actually, afterwards. What if Again, we... we want to make sure we get the functionality in before we decorate too too much because. 
Um, for example, if we have to get pipes out of it, we might end up having to have the pipe underneath it or something like that too, right? You do need pipes. You need pipes underneath because you need to feed water into the bottom. So we'll need to have the pipe. Oh, that's really cool, actually. Yeah, having that on top of the wall is a good call, James. Yeah, that's better than the ice for sure. Nice. So you're saying the barrels are going to have to sit on top of tubes. Is that correct, Uno? So... What, let me just come in and see what we're talking about. So, the cloches need to sit on top of the fluid pipes. That's easy. Because we can just do fluid underneath all of Oh, excuse me. Yep. So we need to run water underneath them. Uh, items will go to the canola presses. That's fine. Uh, and then the we need to... belt like this. Yeah, via the conveyor belt. However, however you want to do it, whether you go on top or... You don't have to drop these. Uh, and then we need to get fluid out of the presses. Out of the uh, presses or the barrels? Out of the barrels, sorry. The presses are, the presses will automatically output. And can you get it out the back of the barrels or uh, does it have to be at the bottom? Uh, it should come out of the back. Because if we can do it out the back, that would work fairly well. So fluid can, can go into the side of a Plochex, but uh, I think it tends to work better if it's underneath. Uh, give me a minute. I'm just going to check something. I can't remember whether the fermenting barrels will automatically output or not to the... Uh, to the pipes or whether we'll need a pump. What about something like that? As a decoration, yeah, we'll have to figure out a build for like this whole wall. Um, I could also, if we wanted to, I might like just that. naturally sculpt this into looking more like an organic cave, which might be kind of cool. Because otherwise it gets kind of weird to be like, why is there a room in here? Like, with the the shape of stuff like that. I mean, we could frame it. I mean, well. I was going to say, we could actually just, like... Unfortunately, it would be great. Unfortunately, we didn't... What we should have done is built this room so it was actually... So the center was actually lined up with this. I mean, we can move everything. Yeah. It's... Hold on. Is that is it off by one? Uh, do, 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 no, do, it's do, off by do. more than one. It's off by okay. two. Yeah, I just kind of... We just kind of used the natural corner that was already there. Yeah. So give me a second here. Which which one is the center point? It's, it's here, eh? Yeah, that's center. I mean... It's the, How much do you care? Do you want to do that? Right there. Um, I don't know if it really matters. I, I feel like if we matters. did this, we could probably like roof it off so it actually, when you come in here, you don't see the sort of this because it's kind of awkward right now. It no, it absolutely is. That's what I was gonna say. I would, I would absolutely blend this to be like a really cool snow cave. Yeah. Okay. I don't think it really so matters. Fluid. So. Fluid pipes. Uh, so the. The fermenting barrels will automatically output to the fluid pipes. Okay. So and we don't need does to pump, it have a direction? Pump, so. Ah, no. Now the fluid pipes will just... You can just pump out of wherever. The back. If you want to pump out of the back. Uh, do the presses need power? The presses need power. The okay. barrels do not. Okay. So we need... We need... Actually, James... While I start, while I start putting all this stuff down, do you want to just throw all of those blocks into the shulker box? And do you do you want to solve trying to get power into this room? Uh, we still don't know how we're doing power. I, exactly. But I think before we go too much further into this, that's something like, we need to solve. Right? The idea was like, how bad is it going to be if we just kickstart the kickstart this whole thing when it's ready and then start using itself to power it are we going to get a decent amount of power out of it if we're using 
what we, we already have to power itself. Uh, we should do. We should do. Like, I think that's probably what I'd like to do. Rather than power this off of our existing grid, let's just build it up, kickstart it, and then wire itself into it. And then we take any of the excess energy and pump that into our main grid. Well, let's make uh, let's make one half first before we make both sides. You know what I mean? So I'm I'm also wondering about where the so we're gonna need a, a water source in here. Uh, what does that mean? So we need to feed water into these. They need power. They need uh, water. Okay. The canola presses uh, or the cloches? the cloches. So does that mean we need just like a water source underneath each one of these individually? Do we need to make a three by three? Like you just said, a water source. Uh, I need a little yeah, bit more. Yeah. So we wood. need. So what I need is a pump to start with, which is there, and then we. Essentially, a pumping fluid into these somehow, and we can pump into the bottom of them. Yeah. So, could why don't we just dig a dig a hole, create an infinite or we water could put source it here in the corner? Oh yeah, actually, that's go, yeah. The pump could go right here where I'm standing, and then and then if we went down two blocks and then had a water source pump into all of those, will that reach all of the Uno? Should do. Uh, so I go, will go, do that there, I, I have... Alright, so you should... I've made a hole underneath all of them for you, Uno. I am assuming that that is what you were implying to do. What? Oh, you you went the wrong way, you know. You you went. Uh, we're not going that direction right now. We need to we need to test this side before we build the other side. Yeah, yeah. Let's we'll just do both at once. I I, uh, I think that's risky because if we end up discovering any problems with our first side, because we don't actually know where we're going to put power generation first. So, yeah. Is it not possible to make an infinite water source and hook it up to a water wheel? Seems like an easier way of doing this. Eh. A water wheel produces like 40 power. Yeah. Uh, one of these cloches takes about the amount that a water wheel produces. It just doesn't scale. So I made a base that has, I think, like 14 water wheels, and I barely produce enough power. Uh, so where do we actually produce the water source, you know? Uh, this is what the pump is for. So I need an infinite water source. Uh, let me... So I've got I've got two buckets of water on me. So just tell me where you want it. What I need to do is I need to I need to put the pump like. So if you can turn this area into infinite water. Oops. All right. There. So the corner is now an infinite water source. Yep. Which means I put the pump there. Uh, and I have just enough fluid for that. I need a hammer. Don't have one. Oh, ex okay. Uh, can we somehow flip that, Uno? Uh, yeah, probably. I'd yeah, because probably... the way that that's laid out right now uh, doesn't look great. I mean, can we so just what hide we the whole thing do then? Is we want to have the pump in the center spot, not the pipe, right? Yes. So hold on. So if we put snow I mean, yeah, we there, yeah, yeah, and then we turn that should now be an infinite water source.
No, I did have a hammer. So remove here. Take this back. No, no, no. Let's leave, let's leave this open for now. Let's give ourselves a lot of room to work. So we want to make sure that the it ends up. Oh, we don't. We just want it. No, the pump needs to be up. Oops. That's the, I meant to place a pipe, and then a pump like that. Yeah, but the pump needs to be over the water. So I, I still need to get. Yeah, we. There still, still needs need to, to be a pipe. Water, uh, pump. Here, give yourself more room. However, however much room you need. Here, we can make the we can make the water source bigger too, right? Let me grab my bucket and I'll make I'll make all of this a water source. Uh, Ziriana. 38 there. months, welcome back. All right, are you wanting, so are you wanting like, the, I mean, where do you want the pump? It's At the end the of the day, place. we want the pump visible here, where the snow block is. That's too far back. We want the pump where the snow block is. I mean, that actually, want the pump where the snow block is. that actually looks kind of cool. Come back. Just in the cave like that? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, if that works I, there, James, that's fine. And then because I can do, I can do this. Because what I can do is I can go. I need to put power in. Uh, I need to get power into it, and then put a redstone signal on it as well. All right. Well, I've made the ceiling taller. <laughs> so power, power goes onto the top, uh, and then we need a redstone signal. Yeah, like I mean, everything's going to need to be powered here. We could do that, and then that's symmetrical, even though it doesn't need it. Oh, just the extra pipe on the other side? Yeah, I'm yeah. down with that, James. I like that idea. Uh, can we have the water pump sit on top of the um, the actual block that's taking from it, just for symmetry, or not? It what? needs to be on... So it needs to be on top of a water source. Oh, okay. It needs to sit on top of it? Sure. Yeah, it needs it needs a water source underneath. Here, put some light in this corner. Oh yeah! Now we can actually see. Uh, needs okay. two levers. No, just... <laughs> yeah. No, it just needs one. It just needs one lever. <laughs> just the one lever. Right. How dare you, Uno? Uh, so that wants to be output. What the what? No. What is? What is happening in my? Dude, your your Minecraft is having some some issues here. Right, so that that will work when that gets power. What what am I wearing, or what does my character think I'm wearing? Oh, dude, that's a weird uh, backpack you cheated yourself and you're shooting the railgun the other day. Oh God, oh, it is the, the capacitor what? backpack. I do, what? Why? <laughs> I don't even have that anymore. Check your baubles. Oh, it's yeah, you're right. It's in my bobble. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot that's where it was. All right. Fixed. I totally that, forgot that it was a bobble. That's so funny. All right, so... Let's look at this left side again here. Okay, so left side, we now have water in. We have conveyor belts out into the presses. We have fermenting barrels that are there. If we just want to void the seeds... Uh, because they're on conveyor belts, we could actually do item collectors into void chests um, and then just destroy all the seeds. And then we don't have to worry about anything cute like filtering or anything like that. We just steal the items off of it. And then we can fix that later if that's something we wanted to do. Um, 
Uno, could you I don't, like QA this or review this or something like this? Is there anything that we're missing in this process? Uh, so we need power into the canola presses that can come in the top. Uh, stealing the stealing the seeds off the conveyors is probably not a terrible idea. Yeah, put... I had a not terrible idea, James. Yeah, I was going to say learning. you could put something like here and and there. Here, yeah, range collectors there. Or What's like that? One down or two down. I would bury them into the ground. I would. Yeah, yeah they should. Here. They should go two couple down, and they'll be fine. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm okay with them being visible because then if we want to interact with them, we don't have to dig for them. That should. I mean, that should be good enough. And do the same on the other side. Yeah. Well, let's uh, let again. We'll do one side first, and then we'll hook it up. And if we kickstart this side, then it can start to produce the power. So the other thing we're going to need is we're going to still need to come up with a way to get the power from this back into the gigaloo. So even if we can't get power from here... Yeah, so James, we had the same problem before of if it doesn't look get, if it doesn't look good to get power from the gigaloo into here, how do we make it look good to get the power from here back into the gigaloo? Well, if the main battery is up here, like I think this can be... I mean, where... So the, the next question for me is regardless of where you're going to get power in or out of this place, where do you want to put the oil generators? Because that's the next thing. We need to get fluid out of the presses, uh, out of the barrels, and into oil generators. And where do you put those oil generators? I mean, they could be further back. Yeah, we just keep punching the walls back? Yeah. I mean, they don't... They also don't have to be back. Like, you could go up. It goes around the light. I actually kind of love how that looks. And then how many generators do we need? One per barrel. Yeah, I think one per barrel should should uh, should be good. You mean one per two per barrel? One or per, one, one per two? Uh, one per fermenting barrel. So two per cloche, one per fermenting barrel. So 16. 16 oil generators? Sorry, what am I making now? 16 oil generators, yeah. That seems like a lot. Oil. Well, make eight, and then we'll see how it goes. Yep. Like, this will power at least eight. This will give at least eight, and it will probably give more. So, the tube looks amazing, Uno. It's just, if it's a one-to-one -one ratio, they don't need to link in each other, right? Uh, no, they don't need to link into each other. I was thinking, I was, uh, so I was thinking, oh, I don't have enough pipes on me that, you know, depending on where they are, you just join power. everything together. Why do we not have power? I'm so confused. Is it nighttime? Oh, now we, now we do? Because every time, every time the sun sets, we lose all of our power. <laughs> every time the sun sets, we're like, why don't we have power? It's not, it's not, well, it's close to it, I guess. Okay, so that means we need more canola seeds i guess why do we need more canola seeds I to make oil generators or not seeds but the canola oh you actually need canola at oh yeah okay so am i making eight or 16 oil generators just make eight for now yeah make eight right i have just swapped out batteries so there should be power Um, okay, so I, I think that means I need more canola, so. How much yeah, iron Udo, I think your I think your suggestion there for those pipes actually just looks so good. Who cares? Let's do it, right? <laughs> so let me, let me make a few more pipes, and then I'll show you what the rest of the thought was. Wembo, you are not wrong. <laughs> you are not entirely wrong there. Okay, I need more canola. Where where are you, canola? Ow. So that that would be what it is like when they're all joined together. Which kinda makes like these cool little archways. 
Oh, um, yeah. actually, I have a, I have a good question. Uh, so make those all combined, and then just make the these two just separate arches that aren't linked to each other. And I'll get James to come back. We can take a look to the left and the right and see which we prefer. If we like them all connected, or if we just like little arches over each independent system. I mean, the idea of having them all connected is kind of cool because then it implies that it's one large system, which it is. But then something I could do for depth if we wanted to. One canola press can support four oil generators. Oh, dang. Okay, maybe we should just do 16 then. Bah. That's from a farmer, so... What the heck is that? Oh, wait. No, what is that? Oh yeah, no, this is the... I was like, what is that? It's the moon base. <laughs> <gasps> no! No, 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 no! James? James it's has fine. fallen from a great height? It's fine. No. Oh. No, we've burned to death. <laughs> <laughs> what? How did you die? <laughs> Uh, don't actually. Uh, the brick that. walls don't look great. I don't like how it connects. No, if it didn't connect, it'd be much cooler. Uh, pillars. You just can't pillars. help yourself, can you, James? What? I didn't. I didn't want to die. I mean, nobody wants to die. <laughs> it's fine. I'm only 300 meters from my body. If it wasn't white, the marble pillars would be great. No. I think I just like the stone for now. That didn't work. Yeah, you, you search does seem to have magical thoughts. I'm not quite sure that's what's going on. I beg your pardon? You, you have magical thoughts. Oh yes, I have the um, uh, the Thomcraft ring of magical farting. What? Ah, right, okay. That makes sense. Yeah, it's a, it's Thomcraft. It's a wizard thing. It's a wizard uh, thing. I recently right. gained level 19 in Thomomancy. <laughs> wow. Oh, hey, snow. Canola. So, James, Canola. or pardon me, James. James is in here. Uno, do you have a preference between left and right here while James goes about and explores? I, I think I prefer the left. Uh, Just a little bit cleaner. Yeah, 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 I, I don't like that it's not joined up. Um, but again, functionally, they don't need to be joined up. Actually, something we could do, uh, I, w I want to wait for James to come back. What if we had the same design, but they were also joined up? Might be kind of interesting. Whoa, server? I mean, the other, the other thing you could do is, um, instead of putting things between it to add depth, you could add depth in the middle. I like where that torch is. Let's add some color behind there for now. All right, coming home. Ooh, I, what do you think now that color behind there though, no? The white. Yeah. Oh, I think that looks great. Oh, did my helmet finally break? No, now I only have an Elytra. <laughs> <laughs> so proud of you, James. So, I do like having a bit of color. Okay. But I'm back. I'm back. I think just a bit of texture and... as well. Mm, we're not using snow bricks anywhere else in the build. I mean, is that a problem? Yeah, I'm very, I'm very hesitant to ever introduce a new block uh, for. I a mean, build we're special. using we're using bricks. Yeah, but my, we're, we're using theory. stone brick or we're using permafrost brick. Snow is snow is just a base color. Uh. There's I... rules, Uno. <laughs> All right. And rules I mean, are made to be broken, to, it. something else. But if it's snow, it should stay flat snow. He's not wrong. Rules are meant to be broken. Yeah. Oh my God. I need. To... I just think. I just think there's so much other snow. Like I don't like having the white tech because we've got the snow here. I don't think it works in the wall unless it's a different texture. Uh, I, I I think I can respectfully disagree. I think that looks awesome. The the snow brick looks awesome. Great. I, mm. 
Anyways, I heard it. James, you said it. We, once you're once you're done making those furnaces, we've got some we've got some questions for you here. Oh God. Uh, logs. Okay, we have lots of silverwood log. Does that make sticks? Hey, it does uh, too. Perfect. <laughs> just just straight up magical trees. Just turning them into regular old sticks. Okay. Change that back. Oil. Can make more iron casings now. Perfect. I do have my eye chisel on me. How many were these we're gonna make? I have 14. We're gonna do 16, right? Crack. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> uh. So if snow doesn't have a chisel. Someone was asking. It only has snow and snow bricks. Oh my god, are we out of iron? Uh-oh. We did say we needed to go for a big mining session. Yeah. We've used quite uh, used quite a bit of iron on these pipes, on the fluid pipes. Okay, I we got the uh, generators. Alright, come on in, James. Now, uh, some aesthetic decisions. You can now catch up on what we're having here. Um, there's the left side, which is just clean and has connected pipes. There's the right, which I've added some depth to. Uh, we could potentially do the right side and also add connected pipes too, if we wanted to. Yeah, I was wondering I like if you right had side. any input on this. I like the right side. Do you want to add the right side with connected pipes or no? Um... So yes. here, let me yes. do let me do I a do. quick. Oh, also, crap. I'm curious about. Let me do a quick that. change on the left. I changed your lighting. Yeah, it's kind of a boring light, but that's fine. I, I use the lights that we've been using everywhere else. They look cool. Look at that little dot. I love it. So I would say bring the stair down one. We sure do have a lot of dots back here. We don't need. Oh, yeah, those dot lights are a lot cleaner. So the issue if we bring the stair down by one then, Uno, is we have an odd number on one side and even, so the lights end up in kind of a weird spot. So, yeah, the stair does have to... The stair is going to continue the whole way up because you end up with I mean, kind we, of a weird mismatch. We could mismatch. make the roof bigger. Uh, making the roof better doesn't fix that problem. Yeah, if we if we push the roof up one. An alternate yeah, idea would actually be to up. move the pipe to a middle spot. So it connects like that now. Ooh, that looks cool. Yeah, I think, I think that actually fixes the problem because then you can see it's in line with where the lights are. But even if you <coughs> move the roof... Even if you move the roof up one uno, you still end up with the same issue of uh, even versus odd. So, yeah, can you grab one more pipe uno and put it in the middle that connects the two units? Wow. Yeah. Look at that. That looks that looks really cool. Um, James. Yo. What do you think if we actually stack the uh, the processors vertically on either side of the light in those middle sections? Wait, what? Uh, you want to pass me two of the whatever furnace thingies you just made? The oil generators. Yeah, so we have a couple of options to place it, but I wonder if this works. Yeah, that definitely works. How do how do we get power out of it now, though, is probably an issue. The back. Uh, out the back, or... Yeah, out the back is probably... Yeah, and you wouldn't even see it because it's a full block. So, I mean, you're saying, like, boom, boom... Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Does that work? I think that looks super cool, if I'm honest. I think that looks rad. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it looks sweet. I don't know if it's functional, but it looks cool. <laughs> I'd probably change the flat stone behind it into something else, but I think that looks really neat. Where does the actual power... What do we pipe all the power into? 
What do you mean? Well, like, is there, like, we want to make, like, a battery here of some sort? Yeah, so if we pipe into a battery and then pull, hook the uh, Gigglyo up to the battery, that's... We could do another battery, like, uh, another quintuple battery. I mean, Uno also has a series of tubes underneath the Gigglyo. Uh, we, we'd probably want to straighten it out so it's actually a straight shot to the battery because right now it kind of hooks around in, a, in an interesting way. But there's a tunnel like right about where I'm standing, James. <laughs> yeah. And then we could we could straight shot that to the back. Wait, hold on a second here. I think. So the, re the reason the like reason right the tunnel hooks out is because I want to keep the sides of the processor the AE processor is correct in my head. Right. Uh, what else do we need to make power, or is this done? Is this, like, system complete once we kickstart it and actually get it growing stuff? Uh, yeah, when we put power uh, relays in, so we want relays. Uh, one, two, three, four, twelve... 13 relays initially. Maybe uh, maybe a few more to be... Uh, what's the word? Clean with it. Like the laser oh. relays? Uh, yeah, if we're going to use la laser... Inside of that, we could use uh, we could use uh, immersive engineering wires. Mm. There is no disco ball in this mod pack. Oh, we need a lot more than that because we need we need to get power into. Actually, if we're using lasers. So if we're using lasers, I'm gonna go make a bunch of relays. Thoughts on the light there? Yeah, oh, I like that. Thoughts on the on the depth there. Yeah, that looks good. Uh, do you think that should all be turned into this blue brick? So, uh, for an, as an example. Uh, I mean... Left, left that, or right. Or actually, yeah. I can make it... Give me a second. I can make it just flat permafrost, too, if we wanted to. Well, the permafrost, actually. No. The permafrost looks kind of cool. Yeah, it's not bad. I actually don't know. And then I would actually make it the same block. Oops. Behind as well. I can't do that. I'm out of block. But yeah. So if there's just a strip of that all the way down and we have the brick there. Yeah, so that hard. hooks in with the. I think it probably. I actually think I like the brick more. Okay. And then yeah, like do yeah in behind as well. Okay. Like try. Yeah, try the. Yeah. And then changing everything in the back there. Yeah, that definitely, yes, that looks much better. Uh, are we okay with the, the highlight color of the gray stone and the snow behind it, too? Yep. Uh, you missed, you want to get this one up here, I think, right? So it's connected. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, I think that looks pretty cool. I yep. missed one in this corner, too. But... Uh, we're gonna have to make an access tunnel behind this, uh, specifically for um, 
What do we need in oh, these wow. holes? I think do we're we need... out of permafrost now, too. Do we need... <laughs> yeah, probably. Do we need range collectors? Uh, we will need range collectors. So we'll need range collectors. Uh, we'll probably need something better than an ordinary hopper. And then we'll need uh, some type of incinerator block. Uh, so I was thinking about that to use a storage drawer uh, with a void upgrade. Oh, instead of the thing that I've been doing. Because we, we at some point, we might want some canola seeds. And then this way we have some, but it voids past that point. Yep. Yeah. Uh, I'm. We absolutely need to go for a um, a mining session here. We're out of iron. I'm now out of permafrost. All right. Well, that will definitely be on the docket for this next week. Next week might just have to be like a resource gathering. I might have to do it now. Like, uh, there's not much left for me to do right now. Because I don't even know if we can finish our builder right now. We don't have enough iron to actually make the hoppers necessary to collect from the uh, the range collectors. Because I believe a range collector needs to output into a hopper to go into a drawer. Uh, how many ESDs have we got? How many what, sorry? ESDs. I think we should still have some left over from the snow farm. Oh yeah, Uno, if we're also making, um... I didn't actually leave a great central point for uh, relays to sort of combine between the two, but we could come up with, if we need to get it into into these in a nice, like, uh, centralized way, we could have... Yeah, so I've put I've put relays everywhere at the minute. I haven't joined them. Uh, yeah, we can make like if you had something invisible. like that, you know what I mean? And then it would fork down to both, and then you could have a single point of entry into this, as opposed to four lasers coming out of somewhere. We have one that leads up. Now, why don't I just do this? Uh, are we ending early? Nope. Like I think we I think we have time to actually do our mining session pretty quick here. Yeah. Good I mean start. I'd like to try to get this side working. Uh, I need to get Obviously, that ice block could be something else, but, you know. New crap shot is out? Which crap shot is it? Do, 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 do. Oh, right. The diagnosis. That connect. That looks ugly as hell. Yeah, yeah. that's not going to work. Yeah, it does. <laughs> um... Nothing is broken. Why'd you say everything was broken if, in fact, nothing was broken, James? Because I fixed everything. Um... So there's that. Oops, crap. That looks better. I guess we can hide all these lasers, so... So the other the other option, actually, instead is... Uh, Kanebo, thanks for that 16 months. And another, keep them coming. Thank you. Appreciate it. So what are you trying to... That looks better. Uh, I've made a hole um, 
access room back here. Or at least I'm working on that. Yeah, this looks pretty good. I think... Because you can hide individual lasers, right? Yeah, 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 you can. So, like... Oh, actually, yeah, those two back there look not horrible. Uh, just wait until you've seen the other one, so... Uh, Dirkatronic, thanks so much for that 35 month resub. Appreciate it. Wait until you see the other one. What? Here, Uno, I don't know if this is easy or not, but I've made a huge um, access room behind. You just need to see everything there. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I mean, this looks kind of cool. So do we not have batteries to store solar power during the day? Yeah, yes, we, we do. do. They just immediately just run out? Yeah. Because, like, we run out of power every night. Yeah, that's why we're building this. Uh, that's fair. We, I mean, I, we I guess have we no have real... Fixed, we have fixed the we problem. We have no real power for during the day. Uh, uh, for during the day. Uh, TC Burner, thanks for that 29-month resub. Appreciate it. Oh, putting another relay behind there, eh? That's better. If, what about a relay behind the light hook? It might make <laughs> it look like the light is making the laser. Mm, possibly. I think this looks kind of cool. Let me hook that in. These are the water. So that would then go... They're not going to have any water yet. And so I power the... Pump. Oh, is they Frank a uh, uh, video today? Dang. That's a rare occurrence. Wouldn't it be easier to build a second sun than to build a diesel generator? Well, um, okay. Okay, you know what? I think I'm gonna go start gathering some resources. Yeah, I'm in. I'm in for that too. Because it's clear that we need them. Uh, I'm just gonna put some of this stuff. All here. right. Um, so I'm gonna go on permafrost for a bit, and then I guess iron. Uh, can we get a query of what the system's actually missing, other than power? Uh, permafrost, you said uh, you also wanted iron. Iron and permafrost. Iron is a big one. Do we need gold for anything? Like, is there anything else? for? Because if we split up onto different Y levels or areas, we can be pretty efficient with it, right? I mean, I think it's one of those things where it just, like, grab, grab it all. Yeah, like, that's fair. I, I, I don't think we need to pick and choose between what we what we need to get, so... No, Serge, you're trying to make a quarry. I hate you. <laughs> I didn't say it. Blame Raven. Uh, I, don't this. I want a haircut. Right. <laughs> yeah, oh, dude. Oh, God, yes. Yeah. Um. All right, I'm going to kickstart this and get it actually going. Wouldn't you rather them all cut? Ha! Get out. Oh, where's the canola? Where where's the canola? And in the shulker box. There's eight uh there's eight shulker sheet seeds in the shulker box, you know. Cool. And there should be dirt, I think. Uh maybe? Dirt I mean, seems like the kind of thing that I wouldn't have known we needed and put back in storage system. Yeah, there's dirt there. There was there's dirt. dirt. There was dirt. Perfect. I put dirt in there in the first place, so... Okay. Drills charged, batteries charged. Pick. Um, let's go. 
Right. Oh, crap. Why do I keep forgetting shulker boxes? Surge, please. God, what the? Let's take that and these. You are, you are getting some power. Is there power. more efficient? Oh, there's no power. Of course there's no power. Why would there be power in our system? Right? Who needs power, forehead? Ah, crap. There we go. Okay. Over to our mine. So we need permafrost. Maybe I'll go try to get that to start with. Maybe I actually just take a couple of these and just power one close for the minute. That Yeah, that's what I was saying, that uh, we probably don't want to build it all at once. We probably just want to get one going and then let that generate, right? Where was the yeah, big yeah. permafrost deposit we had? It's down and to the left. Okay, I'll go over there. I'm already on my way. No, get out of here. Permafrost is the aesthetic part. Yeah, but it's the easiest that's... thing for me to grab with the terrible tools I have. Oh, that's fair. Also, eh, eh, I'm faster than you. I got here first. I, I, what? <laughs> what? Uh, the 10% power losses for each consecutive transfer from the roost. I didn't think it worked like that. Dear God! You, I didn't bring uh... any torches. You sure you want to be here, James? Can I have some torches? Oh, torches? <laughs> Did you come down to mine without any torches, James? Dude, I came down to mine without a lot of things. <laughs> you know what? Yeah, all right. That scans. Look, I, I don't have a lot of stuff. Minecraft isn't a game about stuff, James. So that's that's fair. And I think the important thing uh, that chat's going to be on your side here about is it's actually impossible to get stuff in Minecraft. Yep. It is. It is a game of no stuff. Did grabbing that actually just kill it? Don't kill it. Dear God. Look at all this iron. I'm so good at Minecraft. Why don't you... Ow! Bah! Surge is bad at Minecraft. Yep. <laughs> I, a zombie just showed up and bought me. Oh, you know what's actually kind of embarrassing? Oh my God! Sorry, I'm just seeing all of these tunnels uh, that you made previously that you didn't torch up that are just full of creepers. Whoa, 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 whoa. How can you tell it was me? Well, who else has been mining down here? And I always torch. I mean, it could be Uno, but I'm not allowed to always blame Uno for everything. Yo, Yalk321, 35 months. Minecraft is what's keeping my family sane during this quarantine. Thanks for getting us into it. You're welcome. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Does this actually... Wait, this just goes one for one, right? Okay, yeah, this doesn't actually save any inventory space. Go away, granite. Go away, stone. Go away, cobble. Ah, that's what I wanted. Okay, so here's what we want. I'm going to be on permafrost and uh, iron duty. I'll race you. Uh, can I turn this back? No, I can't. I screwed it. I screwed the pooch. You're, I mean, you're going to win. You have way better tools than I do. Well, why don't we just work together then? I don't work with melons. You don't work with melons? What about pumpkins? I, 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 I take a step back to give you some face. And this is how you repay me. Yes. It is. Wow. All right. Apparently. I'm just as surprised as you, Serge. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, oh, did you man. watch the, the, the most recent highlight reel? It's basically just you dunking on me the whole time. It was a hit that, piece. That's not even... It was that, an absolute hit piece. I even, can't believe... That's, how, that's not how the dynamic of this friendship life. works, all right? Corey was out for character suicide there when she put that together. <laughs> Other way around. Character assassination. 
All right, yeah, so you know that, I'll protect you. I'll, I'm gonna kill everything. There's like seven creepers down this hallway, but there's I got none, your back, James. There's none that's near what friends me. Do. No, it's fine. There's none near me. I'm not scared. I ain't afraid of no creeper. Whoa. What's should be. love got? Oh wait, that's a different song. You uh, should have a healthy respect for creepers, James. Oh, it was totally Uno. Uno's the only person I know who has a five by five tool. Ha! All right, Uno, I tried to not blame you, but it turns out that you were the one who was mining with a 5x5 five five and then just left a creeper spawning area down here. Oh, yeah, that's in case you needed... Um, gunpowder? Uh, gun <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, that's his gunpowder creeper farm. James? Oh, I didn't realize uh, he actually next leveled us. That's actually very thoughtful. Uh, I see that James has been running low on rockets lately. Okay. Yeah, he was after it earlier, so, you know, why... Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, good guy, good guy Uno looking out for us here. Uh, I'm also uh, not going to, I, I kind of hate to tell you, but your conveyor belt system really doesn't work. What's that? The conveyor belts don't work. What do you mean they don't work? Stuff doesn't, it, 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 I, it's, it's having a, it's not, it's not going well. I mean, define not longer? going well. I mean, we can come back uh, they and don't... do that. Just, just do it for now. Come help us mine stuff, and the three of us can problem solve that together later. I'm just gonna try something which may, may, may work. See if this does it any better. I hope you're not just replacing the conveyor belts with something else, because we worked very hard on that system. No, no, I'm keeping the conveyor belts. I'm just right. Okay, yeah, yeah. Um, the conveyor belts don't like being on the walls. Oh, yeah, that's fair. You mean, what do you mean they don't like being on the walls? The walls I put them on. Oh! Uh, do you have... So um, things sort of, like, drop through? Shulker boxes to put stuff in? Nice. Look at this. I can pick up so much stuff now. Right, this is all, this is all working, though, so I'm going to take the seeds out so we don't end up with a massive backlog of items and crash the server or something. Crash the server. Hack the crash planet. Crash the server. Hack the planet. Man, I should watch Hackers. Dude, that's such a good movie. It is. Didn't you watch it the other week? No, I did not. I you just played the soundtrack it. and told everybody oh, no. to watch it. Oh no, oh no. Why is there lava? It's, it's pronounced Uno. Uno. Why is there lava on top of ice? I mean... Yeah, James, hold on. Yeah. Come up to where I am. I have a question for you. Yeah. Look at this. So, in the middle of permafrost. Yeah. Okay, let me make you a staircase up here. Uh-huh. Oh, that's neat. That's actually really cool. Right? I mean, that's not how that would work, because everything would not melt. Not at all. Like, yeah. Oh, hey, that's my end Oh, my... Really, really, James. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Joke's on you. I was already holding shift. I mean, I assumed you were. That's why I took the chance. <laughs> uh, okay. Okay. Uh, right. Mining. Uh, what level are people at? Uh, we're down at the very bottom, getting permafrost and all sorts of jazz. Oh yeah, I'll just go and get some iron. Trying to kill me, chat. Yeah, I need to. I'm, I'm almost. I'm almost done with the what I can do for permafrost. Although we have a lot now, I think so. Yeah, we did. We did get a lot. A lot. Like I have. We should have two full shulkers now, right? I didn't get a chance to upgrade these shulkers before we got moving, though, so they don't hold quite as much as they otherwise could. Crap. I'm also going to grab this uh, packed ice, just because we managed to find some down here. It's kind of rad. How much are you going to hate it when you go to, uh, when you have to go back to vanilla shulker boxes and they're tiny? I think it'll be fine. It's different problems. I'm actually really excited to head back to vanilla, Uno. Like, really, really excited. There's so many builds, I can't wait. It's gonna, I mean, I think we're, there's no official release date, but I, we gotta be close to when uh, 1.16 comes out. I, 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 I think it seems so. I assume it's gonna be like 
uh, later in the summer, would be my guess. Like, I think we still have a few months to go. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, James, I have some more shulker boxes if you need. Uh, yes. I'm actually pretty high. I all right. Take all that. All right. So here, James, I'm come here. back. Here's just a full one for you. Or an empty one, pardon me. All right. I'm just going to go try to get a whole bunch of iron here. Yeah. Yeah, same. So that's have... enough permafrost to probably last us. Yeah, I think that's definitely enough. So let's just... Uh... So Minecraft Dungeons now has an actual release date, too. Oh, uh, really? Yeah, end of yeah. May. So uh, you can expect we will be playing that on this show. For sure. Yeah. I'm actually uh, looking really forward to that. Yeah, I think the, the three of us playing that game... Uh, at the end of the uh, at the end of May, so we're still two months away from it, but I think that'll be a, t a lot of fun. So, um, whether or not Surgecraft will hold us over for two months, I don't know. Uh, we might do something in between, um, but we'll figure all that out. But I think it's probably going to be like Surgecraft and maybe something else, and then into dungeons, and then hopefully into. Uh, some other fun stuff, and then 116. And Dungeons is, yeah, it's basically Minecraft Diablo. Um, definitely yeah. geared towards a younger audience. Um, so it'll be great for Surge. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Do we need to call the Burns unit? I was finding a lot of iron, and now I'm not... Oh, there's some. Uh, okay. More iron. So how much iron do you think? We, well. Like a couple of stacks each? I think, yeah, if we can each get, like, two or three stacks, that'll be... Because then we have four doubling, right? Yeah, exactly. Like, we got, okay. we, we got ways to... to turn this into oh wow my traveler sack is already quite full of things i couldn't i couldn't what think of a good way to have to make an iron farm short of like a vanilla one like it might be worth it to make an iron farm at some point because a lot of these mods are very iron heavy. i mean the thing is is that iron is like the way that you sort of fix that is iron is spawns like mad like, are there easy ways to make, like... Like, in this room alone that I've found, it's absurd how much iron I'm picking up. So, uh, there, there is a... Immersive Engineering has a machine for that, the extractor. So what you do is you go around and you figure out which chunks have got um, good deposits in, and then you build the IE extractor, and that sort of pulls materials out of the ground. Yeah, but then you then you exploit it because you're actually still harvesting at that point, though, right? You're not actually just producing it indefinitely. Um, each, so I don't think it's actually digging it up out of the ground. It's each chunk has a finite amount, uh, and then you have to sort of move the chunk, but you're not actually removing it completely. You are harvesting it, though, right? It doesn't yeah, it doesn't pull the actual walls out. No. Oh, interesting. Oh, so it does but, just... It is an infinite source, is the question I have. Uh, kind of. Depends on the immersive engineering configuration. I think we might have it configured to be an infinite source. Okay, because if it's not infinite, then why wouldn't you just make a vanilla farm, right? Uh, how else can you get iron? So I think Astral has a way that you can like turn regular stone if you place stone you can then turn it into a random ore but that's not necessarily just an iron farm right uh yeah i mean uh, zombie farms uh husk farms why would those give you iron they have a chance uh, because zombies and husks and things can drop iron when oh, by a player. that does not sound as efficient as just an iron farm i mean it depends how long you leave it you're, you're giving me alternatives that aren't better, Uno. I'm giving you alternatives. I mean, you don't know. You've never tried them. 
I mean, I can imagine what the drop rates are of zombies or husk. Right? Well, in uh, vanilla, yeah, but maybe they're different in mod. I mean, uh, I, that's I fair. Can tell you, I can tell you what the drop rates are. It's uh, two and a half percent. That's not bad. Okay, so somebody was here dropped a whole bunch of crystals. <laughs> uh, that probably was me last time, and they just haven't loaded. Because. <laughs> There is so much freaking iron in this cave I found, it's absurd. <laughs> ah. Hey, Must diamonds! I found diamonds. Nice. Damn on day. We probably actually need Wait. diamonds for mine o'clock too, does right? This have, uh, does this have luck on it? No, it doesn't. Or whatever you need. That's Fortune. Uh, do you have silk touch? Yeah, I do, but I don't care. I'm just grabbing the diamonds. That's fair. Yeah, I think I was mining for coal and would have just left everything else there. Ten diamonds. Just in the ground. Yeah. Because we needed coal for glass. Right. Oh, yeah, like, rock crystals. I hate you so much. This is a good... Like, there's been some interesting discourse about iron farms in vanilla Minecraft and, you know... Because with 116, we're yeah, starting, we're going to start to from. lose some 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 stuff. We're going to AFK fish farms are basically dead. Yeah. Um, zero tick farms are dead. Yeah. Um, and you know, it's definitely brought up the question of should we also kill the iron yeah, farm? But, uh, so I'm okay. <laughs> and uh, I don't know. It's interesting. Like obviously, if you kill the iron farm as we know it you need to replace it with something that allows players to still get iron at those kind of levels. And currently there is not anything like that. I think it's tough for um, how you're tuning the experience. If you're tuning it for single player or multiplayer, uh, because if everything in the world is um, exploit only, if there's no way to actually farm it, um, there ends like the end is a perfect example when there's no more elytra when there's no more shulkers and it gets really hard to go it, it, there comes a certain point where it becomes really hard for other people to find stuff and yeah. to make really large builds it, all, it always seems weird the elytra um craftable yeah so one of the things that's very neat is on like really big minecraft channels what they make for their community servers they actually have to change it so other things are actually farmable. Uh, great examples being gravel and sand. Because uh, so many people love to build with concrete and you don't want to just end up like strip mining deserts or having to force players further and further out. Like gravel gets really difficult to harvest later on. Yeah. So and back, so back they in the day... Up, pardon me? Back in the day, there was a modder that went through the thing where clay was, uh, was so rare and it was a balancing... Uh, act because clay was re is always really difficult to get. So I don't know. I don't. Yeah, who are you? Who are you tuning towards? Right? Who are you balancing towards? And I wonder if if removing too many farms uh, ends up disproportionately affecting multiplayer versus single player. Mm -hmm. Do we need. We don't need redstone, right? I think so. Uh, we everything. don't not need redstone. Yeah. I've just been selectively. I have four stacks of iron right now, so. Uh, I have. Nope. Uh, we need lead very much. I'm actually gonna empty out. I don't need all this stone. Uh, lead, stone, stone. All right, I think I have enough stuff now to come back. Yeah, I'm pretty close. I want to just uh, get this fifth stack of iron. <laughs> Pardon me. I have a, I've got a stack and a half. Uh, I have. Uh... One, two, three, four. I have four-ish stacks. Is 
that including what's in those shulker, bo shulker boxes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's my full count. Okay. All right. I'm gonna. Yeah, I'll come back with the uh, what I have here. So a bit more. And I think we've got somewhere between two and three shulkers of um, perma. Perma. Yeah. Oh, hilariously, the permafrost chunk that we've been digging out, James, is a slime chunk. <laughs> Nice. Mm -hmm. Oh, my battery's empty, so. Uh, Alright. Alright. Anything in the immediate? Head back upstairs. Yeah. Oh, hey, it's a creeper. Yeah, there's a flavor fail. The uh, slimes weren't even like ice slimes or anything like that. Just regular old vanilla slimes. Ice slimes. I don't even want that. What would that even be? Wouldn't I don't know. They just be like slime. blocks, blocks of ice. All right, I need some food. Woohoo! I mean, you tried to punch me into lava. I have it back. Oh. Hey, do you want my old boots? I'm not using them anymore. Okay. Woo, boots. Wave dash dot PPP. PPP? Yeah, chat named them. What is, what is dot PPT? PowerPoint. Oh. All right, so let's see how much. Uh... Yeah, let's put everything in these shulker boxes so we can check out our, our haul. You can have this shulker box. I didn't even really need it, so. Okay, so. Can you use it? Uh, boop, 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 boop. That's full. Uh, boop, boop. I'm gonna put the, another one down. Actually, hold on one second. I'm gonna take all the iron. Oh, put it into one? Yeah. Uh, Uno, where's all the iron you got? Put all the iron into this one. No, not that crap. <laughs> I just emptied my sack. Well. All right. I think that's all the... Is that all the iron we got? That's not bad. That's 10 stacks. Yeah. That's respectable. And we're going to double that, that in 20 all stacks. Iron. All right, so let's put all this in here. Is that just going to start working away? I don't remember how this works. Uh, I should do. You put the iron in the system. Yep. Iron. Yep. So out goes iron. In comes three. Four. Perfect. Okay. So that's going to start working away. And we're, we're getting gold out of that. As well. And then we got a lot of permafrost, so we can keep going with that. Yeah. I'll take over building. Wait, how, do, how are there permafrost bricks in there? Who harvested perma? I, I, I made them because I wasn't sure if they would save oh, if they the space. Stack better? Yeah, they do uh, not. Not a bad idea. Um, oh, God, what did you do? What do you mean, what did I do? All right, so, yeah, so we need to... If they don't like the... We'll put these under bricks, then. that so are these is this working it or no no i don't think it is right uh it will but I, I turned it off because um i didn't want it to back up while we were out couldn't if imagine this. It produce enough to back up while we were out well, you never know you never know i also wonder if they just work without the anything under the conveyor yeah they can float i think this looks fine though just get the bricks back under there so it's really busy with those lasers. It's really busy. We can with hide those lasers. lasers. Pardon me? We can hide the lasers. We can hide lasers. Okay. I will make it and show you how. I don't actually know how, but I can figure it out. How hard could it be? Uh, laser 
Laser. Hide or Medoodle. Relay. Relay. Uh, modifier. Laser Relay Modifier. Invisibility. And we can make four. And we need Black Stained Glass. So these, One. these are all running now. Okay. Uh, um, Four. So what I should be able to do Four. is turn well, that away. All right, so Surge. Yeah. Which laser, do we want any lasers? Aye, that's a good question. I don't know, what do you think? I, I kind of dig, um, so how does this work? If I put a, if I put, oh God, I picked up everything that was coming out of the, right. Cause the seeds aren't going to go in there. We need to make a thing to, oh God, these are bouncy boots. Oh God. Okay. So <laughs> if I go, not like yeah. that. We do still need to pull the seeds away. How, how, how does this? How do I? Oh wait, no. Why can't I put the? Uh... Wait. Okay, so that that worked. Okay, so that hit that one, and it hit that one, and then. So is it? Um, it hides them between two that. Have yeah, so we can hide those two. Like, do you like keeping the ones? I don't love the, the cross beam, and I don't love the one that actually connects to the water pump. Okay, so sorry, which, which the cross beam, like the one across that here? That two in the middle. Yeah, I don't okay. love that. That's easy. Uh... Yeah, I don't like the, the asymmetry of the one that's just attached to the water beam. Okay, so one second. So, okay, I need, I need, Okay, I got this. Need I got more this. of those. Wait, why do... Shouldn't I have 10, 11... No, no, this is right. This is right. Okay, so we want... One in here. And then... Uh, sure. And then one... Here and then here. Nope. Shoot. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. How do I get that out? Like that. Okay. Shoot. I can't. Hmm. I don't right. mind that laser going back. Yeah. I just realized. Okay. Hold on one second. I just realized. I need to do that. So. Does that look good? I think that looks pretty good, actually. Yeah, that's way cleaner now, right? Yeah, so the problem... I wanted to get rid of the two little lasers you can see back there, but I can't get rid of those lasers without also getting rid of the one that goes from the top up here to the back of it. Sure. So Yeah, that's. I don't mind that little V sticking out. I think that cleaned it up a bunch. We need to get those item collectors and... Uh, start pulling those seeds out pretty quick here. Right, I'll go grab the, I'll go make a couple of those. Yeah, so Uno had a strategy, which was a drawer into a void with some type of logic to actually Well, so check we if just... it was overflowing or something like that. Well, no, because like the way so... storage drawers work with a void is it fills up to the point of the drawer capacity and then voids everything else. Yeah. Okay. Um, so what we need is uh, two range collectors. Is that how we're doing that? Yes, uh, uh, we yeah, have two, two range collectors because um, they only they don't have enough range to cover all of it otherwise. And then the range collectors will need to go into a hopper, into a, a single, they could probably hopper chain into a drawer collector and a series of drawers with like a, a, a probably just a regular, just like one by one drawer instead of like a two by two drawer. Yeah, because we're only, we're only storing seeds in that. And so it, do it we just need time, so we have no power. So do we want to go into, we, we want two range collectors going into one storage drawer, right? Correct. Yeah. So the, luckily it's an odd number, so it'll, it'll add up symmetrically pretty good. Okay. So, oh my God, system, just get the power going. Okay. Oh my God. 
I hate this. Yeah. I'm so glad we're fixing this, or at least we're trying to fix this. <laughs> okay. uh, Uno, can you start working on the infrastructure that's actually going to set the power back in after all is said and done? How, you know how many mean? hoppers do we need? Uh, prob uh, go with like seven, just in case. Okay, Hold seven on. hoppers, and then... One, uh, two, three, yeah, uh, a single actually make it eight. A single basic drawer. Hopper. And then we need the void upgrade. Oh god, we don't have enough obsidian. I'm on it. I'll be back. Okay. You you yeah, go do that and I think I can do this. What about item ducks? Yeah, wait, we could just use wait. Yes, we could have just used item ducks. Is that easier? I don't know. Item ducks could pull from a ranged collector. What what item ducks are we talking about? I mean, we could use uh, we could use X Xnet. There are no item ducks. Yeah, wait. There are no item ducks. This doesn't work. This is fine. I mean, we could use item lasers. No, this is fine. The the hopper system here works just because it's it's going to be because it's like the idea is we go down. So, this is going to be the range collector. Yeah, item lasers and a hopping item interface. Into and that's going to be the range. So, these are going to be the range collectors right here. And then... Let's put a torch there. Torch but this there. actually this is this is real easy. Uh, do we have rest? I have twenty four. Do we need more than that, James? Um, no, that should be good. Okay. Actually, oh shoot! It'd be kind of cool if we could actually put a, the storage drawer here. Have it above. Uh, if you, you can put the storage drawer wherever you want. I can get you. Yeah, because you can use you can use those uh, boxes or whatever those are called, uh, the molding, the framing, whatever, to make it longer, right? Yeah. So if we, so yeah, I've got a, I've got a, I've got a plan for you. Yeah, we already have room here. Oh, you already made the room. Yeah. Yeah. You. Oh crap! Why? Why'd you go that far? Oh, I got confused. <laughs> I got confused. Okay. I need my magnet. Uh... I'll fix it. Wait. So wait, Uno. What are you working on? Yeah, because we're about to I, finish I, this, Uno. I have a I have a slightly different plan for getting the things into the. Draw for you. Okay. I mean, I, th I think it's fine. Well, one you, that doesn't if you use... Put the, if you just put the drawer controller at the bottom here, James. You don't like, need to all the stuff on us, you know. I don't know if we need to necessarily rework the whole thing when we already have a solution. But what is your solution, Uno? Where, where are you? Uh, item lasers. We just said we didn't want to use lasers, though. Good. Put. Well, this so this way it doesn't use like a load for one, uh, and it only uses a couple of three lasers. So we could do we could do two hoppers and just use trim for the rest of it, right? We can put down the here, James. You want to just put down the range collectors right now, because uh, they have an internal storage system, and we could at least get that whitelist going right now. All right, so we want a whitelist for seeds, and if you want to put the other one on the other side, yeah, you're already there. Yeah, so those will start grabbing those, and we've got the room underneath to hook everything up. We probably still need a drawer controller, and then trim hooked up into the basic drawer there. And then regardless of how we plug things into each other, like, that's not going to change, right? Well, we don't, so... 
So you don't need okay, what, the like, draw controller. What do you throw down what you've got here, you know? So what I, what I, so that's our input. This is gonna be our output. You have a hopper, a, hop, a special hopping thing there. And then you have two lasers. Uh, which are connected. Can you uh, put the laser relays underground? Yeah, yeah, you can put them anywhere. And then that is just going to put... So you see the chests are going into that chest. Uh, okay, so then can we put... Okay, so one second. Do you have another item? Relay? Yep, there you go. So does this... Let me just see if this works the way that I, I want it to work because I'm not... because So can the item relay go right on the range collector? Uh, yes. So if we go like that and we go like that and then Hopper into this Hopper won't push that, up. Yeah, that's not going to push up though. We'd have to have the hopper above ground and then we'd have to have the relay on top of it. No, that's not going to work the way we want it to, because that's. So not... I mean, if you're if you're planning on a draw, trim, you can hopper yeah, into so we'd the have draw to do... controller. What, could you put the hopper into trim? I thought a hopper has to go into a drawer controller into trim. Uh, it would have to go into the drawer controller. Factory yeah, hopper so can go upside do down. Control. Hold on one second. Factory you could hopper. Hop, you could item interface into a factory hopper. Yeah. This is just saying a factory hopper can go upside down. Let me go try to make one of those. See what happens. Factory. Hey, no, stop it. Factory hopper. Oh, treated wood planks. Oh, we do have enough. Okay. So here's a factory hopper, which I've never used before. You need. They're an pretty neat. You have to configure them, but I've got some experience with that. You, you need an item interface then. Uh, well, you, surely no, so, you can hop item hopping, use the item hopping interface into the item hop. Uh, all right. Uh, can I have your wrench? Because I don't have mine. Uh, right. yep, yep. I've configured the factory hopper. Where'd it go? Where'd it Is go? it under the pipe? Have you got it? No. No. I haven't got it. Uh, did somebody else pick it up? Sir, nope. did you pick up the wrench? Do I have I... the wrench? I don't have the wrench. Did it go in the hopper? It went in the hopper, of course. It went in the hopper. Ah. The, the hopper picked it up. And so, Hilarious. and there is stone in here as well. So this to here, and then this Do you to need here. You need the interface at this stage. Hang on. So is the Go interface going to sit between the laser and the hopper, or the hopper and the basic drawer? Between the hopper and the laser. Did you the make the thing? Do you want to make the void upgrade, Surge, or did you? I I don't know how to make a void upgrade. It's literally just the upgrade surround the stored like the drawer upgrades surrounded by obsidian. Okay. Have you got the uh, right? Yeah. Again. What do you need? Uh, I just need to reconnect the lasers. Uh, here I can. I put two. On... No, no, I didn't. The obsidian. I was like, why don't we have enough obsidian forehead? And it's just like, ah, because it's still in my inventory. There we go. So now that should be going. Yep, that's working. 213, 214. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so that's going up. So now... Right, void upgrade has been applied. Um, I put your wrench in this chest. And... Cool! Do we not have snow? I oh, got it. Yeah, there's, there's a, a thing there. Snow here. Like, James? We've got 50,000... Oh, it's right over there. There yeah. we go. Okay, so this should theoretically all be working. What yep. do you think of these pillars I've been making? And then I can, I'll extend the, I'll make the cave look after that. Yeah, no, that looks sweet. Okay, and then I need to come up with a design for the side wall here. So actually, I think what we might want to do is actually make, like, 
Where where's the cor this is the corner right. This is hit it here. I'm wondering if we actually wanna um It's not really like firing those out at speed. I don't know, it's fine. Um, somehow that's not symmetrical from this side. So these oil generators are full. Wait, yes it is. Uh, which means... Oh, no it's not. Wait. Yeah, it's what I mean, James? Is... Yeah. Good. What the what? Yeah, it's... Uh-oh. Does it look symmetrical from out there? Uh, no. Uh-oh. So, oh, here's what you need to do. Hold on. You go this, this. It's an even pattern. It's not an odd pattern. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. We fixed it. Uh, so then... The only problem then is then we look at this room and realize that it's not actually symmetrical with the corner. But yeah, but that, don't that's think, okay. That, I don't think we have to care. No, yeah. I, I definitely don't care about that. Plus, it, it'll be harder to tell when we actually like fully finish this off. So this is now producing power, and we need to take that power out and yeah. put it back into the system, right? Yep. So I'm gonna just gonna do some ow. some decorating in here if uh, if y'all want to start working on that side. Uh, I'm just actually uh, curious about. Um... Mm, how do we take the power out? If we just come. How much, how much flux have I got? Uh, that doesn't work, but whatever. It's fine for now. Actually, this might actually help. System's dead again. <laughs> if, only, if only there was power somewhere. <clears throat> We're so close to fixing this problem. We, we, we hope. Yeah. And this is my least favorite. Uh, I don't know if we actually need that, James. I don't. I don't think that border is looking great. Yeah, the border sucks, but I do like trying to do something so it's not just a cutout in the snow. I mean, that's what we have for all of our other entrances to igloos, right? Is just like a round cutout. Yeah, but we have a nice like overhang for it. We can make an overhang. You want to do like a directional overhang that comes out on this side? No, we, we can figure it out. It's not super important right now. Hmm. Um, let's fix that there and that there. All right. Yeah. So I'm curious, James. Let me do one wall here and let me know what you think. That's at 1240. Okay. Um. Uh, Mary and Mistress of Manifolds, uh, 21 months. That's almost two years. I mean, it is. Thank you. Okay. Um, so everything's working. We're getting canola seeds. So now, so where is all the power right now? Is it all in the, the power generator? right now is in the oil? In, in, in the oil generators. Yep. So, I guess... Wait, how do we... Are one of these oil generators... Like, is the idea that... We can take the power out of the bottom oil generators... And the top oil generators are actually powering this system... Uh, so everything, it's all hooked up, so if we just took power out of the place, uh, then... Took power out know, of we, what? We, you robot it there, I didn't the, hear you. If we took power out of one of the relays, uh, then it would power, it take all the power. Because uh, we're not going to need all this power, because these are producing 80 RF a tick, like, which is probably more than our solar cluster. Right.
So James, mm -hmm. uh, oh, yeah, let me know when you're done thinking about power, and let me let me give you let me take you on a journey with your mind here. Oh, okay. That's the worst kind of journey. Yeah. So you can see the stone that I've laid in there. I think that looks really slick, especially with like the the snow insets or whatever. Mm -hmm. Now over here on the left where we're going, I wonder if I should try making this a cave, but maybe just a snow cave. The issue if it's a snow cave, then it will blend into the side of the igloo and there won't be like a defining spot between one and the other. I could try and make it with ice, but ice is transparent. I could do the idea, like, do you want this, do you want to see a transition from industrial as if it's been carved out of the inside of a cave or something there? Uh, I don't I think I actually have a preference on that one, to be honest. I feel like that one's on you. Okay. And actually, if you look up, you can see where the, like, maybe up in this corner is a better example. You can see sort of a transition from snow and ice into the, into the gigaloo. Yeah. So is it okay if it's like there's a gigaloo which we can tell is symmetrical and then there's just snow walls on the side there? What yeah, I'm just wondering like what if you came off the gigaloo and came up like this? Sorry. Um so like off so the your... So it's like Oh, off... like actually round it out? Yeah, so it's like cuz from the outside so like probably from like close to where this arch is right here actually start rounding that up oh actually maybe you want to go a bit higher that could look maybe kind of cool i don't know that'd be hard <laughs> okay okay i have a plan is it a cunning plan? Uh, uh, only the most cunning plan. One you of know. these pipes you know isn't, isn't actually hooked up. What? There's a pipe here that is oh. not. <laughs> oh, nice catch. What a weird visual error there. Yeah. I can't tell if that's... Yeah. No, that's, that's probably a mistake. <laughs> Excuse me. So, okay. do you want it to be organic, James, or do you want it to be a symmetrical pattern? I think or organic. Like a, yeah. yeah. Pardon me? I think organic. Okay. I mean, everything else is more or less organic, with the exception of the igloo itself, right? So. I do this. All right. Uh, so, we have 50 minutes left. So, should we start setting up the other side here or i think our first priority is probably going to be plug it in right so like we want to we want to we want this to actually fix our storage issue which was the fact that we can't actually get any items out of our system because we have no power right so how do we put I, it in it? Uno. i am working on that right now all right Um, so James, this is where I needed the elevators. Yeah, that looks, yeah, I like that. And then, yeah, bring that, yeah, close off that, that entrance there. And then we should maybe make, actually maybe get two of those concrete doors for, uh, this axe oh there, and then yeah. you want this whole wall to be blue or do you want me to go in snow with there so like this could be blue all the way up yeah that should be blue all the way up yeah, yeah yeah and then do we have stairs yeah we do and then let me go make a couple more of those concrete doors that we have upstairs so All right. Um, wait, did... those. That's right here. Yeah, I put another crafting table. Concrete door. Do we have concrete? No. Oh wait, do we have any more of these doors? We should, right? No. 
Didn't you make three? Looks like this. Uh, I may have grabbed one from my base or something. Oh. Yeah, because we don't have any concrete. Uh, oh god. Slag. Oh. Oh, and you know what I can do? I can make more of those uh, icicles. Yeah. I need some water. Oh, that's a good idea, Serge. Thank you, Serge. Serge is talking to himself. What? How dare you? I think it's because we're not giving him enough uh, validation. Validation. Constant validation. Yeah, Serge needs to be constantly told he's doing a good job. Hey, Serge. Hi. You are doing an adequate job. Wow. Thanks, James. Oh. Apparently, when I said, hey, Serge, my phone thought I said, hey, Siri. <laughs> uh, which is, like, not even remotely close, but cool. Cool. All right. Uh, no, crap. All right. Uh, concrete. Door. And concrete. And this is concrete. Concrete door. Three. Perfect. Memory card cleared. Uh, there we go. Oh, I bet it's because I've got a torch in my offhand. Yeah, See, look go. how good that looks. I love that door. That's a good door. I also like that when you put two doors of these together, uh, they both open. And makes a great noise. Rude. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is my first rodeo turner. First rodeo? Alright. Um, can't. Oh, yeah, we'll check this out. It's a good door, bro. Ha! Boom! Got him. Oh. <laughs> You're not even using silk touch. Come look at come look at my cool door. Oh, what a good noise that makes when you open it. Yeah, right? Huh. And the fact that it's a double door that both open when you open it. Yeah. Love it! Ah, I'm missing a channel. Why are you missing a channel? Uh, actually, you know what? I think let's build this in one more. Um, so I'm not going to be able actually to finish the ceiling right now because we're going to want to finish the wall to the other side first. I know how to place blocks. And but I think even just the proof of concept we have in that one corner is pretty great. There we go. That's better. And then Sink probably what I'm going to do for detailing afterwards is you know how we have these big ice spikes everywhere. I'm probably going to have some ice spikes just coming down from the ceiling. That would look kind of cool. Yeah. That so yeah, so we cool. have this like factory look that's just going to be jutting out of the snow. And we have a proof of concept of that on the left here. And I think that actually looks pretty slick. Do we want... Uh, do I have any more of these? One second. There's a few more. One, two... Whoopsies. What have you... Where are you going, James? Oh, you're just collecting lights? I'm grabbing a few more of these lights. No, there's no... There's no wireless giggler. Okay, because I'm thinking... Uh, power storage and um, Oh, we could go up? Yeah, James! We'll yeah! Just, I'm going to put a few... Oh shoot! Is it, what? That's packed ice, so they're not gonna melt, right? They're not gonna melt. Nope, you're fine. You're fine. So, so if I just put one, uh, why? Wait. Why can't I put one on? Can you not quite reach. There we go. Oh, as yeah. <laughs> Yes, James. Yes. So if we do that, let's get this a little bit more. Yeah, that lights it up really nicely. And then I'll um, I'll clean up next stream. We do this. I'll clean up and make like the snow hang down a little bit and some interesting stuff on that side too. These are prop. 
these might be one of my favorite things to come out of this mod pack, by the way, these lights. Yeah? They're pretty yeah. slick. They're just really nice, and you can use them and hide them in really easy ways to light things up. Yeah, this looks sweet. I think it's a nice mix of both organic as well as um, factory. Mm -hmm. So, bit of an issue here. Right, our canola presses are backing up because they are full and we're not actually doing anything with that well, power. We're not outputting the power yet, so we just need to... Yeah, yeah we're, so... we're, I, I've, almost, I've almost got that going. Okay. So we've I got just that, need... we got that. Oh, uh, wire. Wire is what I want. How do we fix that pipe? Is that with a hammer? Um, or maybe we just break it I and replace it? Just break it and replace it. And then hopefully it'll connect to all three or whatever. There we go. Yeah, there nice. Go. Yeah, this looks sweet. And it's gonna look even better when there's the the second side. Yeah. Why errors? And it should be way faster, right? Like as soon as you make it the first time, the second time, you just you just fly through it. Yeah. And so we've got our 469 seeds. Nice. <laughs> I'm a child. <laughs> I wish you could tune in the cloches. Like we could actually like slow down the cloches. Sure. So that we could actually like. They're a little bit smarter. Get the right number of canola get going out so it doesn't do this. Yeah. The more I look <laughs> at this, I'm actually kind of okay with there being no border on the snow. It just works really well like that just that's just a yeah. nice shape. i mean i i might make it a teeny bit bigger like maybe go here and go higher 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 and then over here we go like this and like that nope yeah i needed a battery needed Wait. to battery it how did we screw? How did that get screwed up? That's symmetrical. You're f oh, you missed here. There we go. Thank you. Yeah, that's. I think that's a little bit nicer. Just so you can actually see. Because it's like when you're when you're running by this way, you can actually sort of see in a little bit more. Sure. Uh, I've got more of those lights for you wherever you are. Oh, we can actually probably break these ones. Oh, yeah. We'll probably want to extend the floor pattern. We could probably just make it the exact same as we already have and just continue that grid into this room, right? Yeah, I think I did one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So one would go there and one would go here. And one would go here. No, one, two, three, four, here. All right, we can get rid of these chests now. And then one, two, three, four here. And these can be switched back. Here. Don't need that one. I mean, that's actually probably because one, two, three, four. Oh, no, that would actually, that actually works. Yeah, cool. Um, I just need a few more, but we can, I can worry about that later. That was completely nice. the wrong. Yeah, the grid's gonna not, it's good. It, it works, like it's close enough. Um, it's not the perfect. It's not a perfect grid, but nothing's perfect in here. So, uh, okay. So we're we're kind of at the end of the show here. Are we? I know we don't really have it hooked up to things yet, but I think we can be really proud of what we accomplished today. We talk as if we're done while Uno is still hard at work. <laughs> so I'm gonna go over and see what Uno is actually trying to do here. So what are you? What's the plan over here? So this uh, tunnel here is a peer-to-peer -peer tunnel for power. 
Yeah. And I've run that th so it goes all the way through our ME network, uh, all the way over through my tunnel, all the way over to the other side where I've put another peer-to-peer -peer tunnel. Okay. Uh, and I'm just trying to get the damn thing to actually be hooked up, and it doesn't seem to want to find the channel for some reason. So that's here, and then where... So if you go to the processor, power adapter mic, it should, should pass channels. Well, the processor is here. Yep, so oh, you go down the processor. Oh, okay. So the reason I, I wanted to pull it off there is make sure I got the channel uh, at coming out the right hand side. So is this... Okay. Ah, okay. So yeah, so here is... Okay. So are we getting the power then? Uh, it's not doing it right this second. Because for some reason, this is showing us offline. So I'm just trying to debug that. Did they not it put is. the upgrade in the drawer? Yeah, there's the up there's a void upgrade. So this it this is. can hold I don't know how many, but five twelve or something like that, I think. No, it's oh, more than that. Apparently more than that. It's oh right, it's a, the right big now. one. Seems like the outer encapsulating peer-to-peer -peer might not be quite hooked up. Yeah, the the peer to peer the whole peer to peer network isn't powered, which is the problem I've got at the minute. Oh no, James. Just trying to make it easier to get up and down here, so I put that elevator back in. Oh, can we move that elevator over? I mean, not really. Because it should be here. Why would it be there? Because that's the center of this room. It's the center of what? It's it, when you're standing here. It's in the center. It's in line with there. Oh, instead of being in line with the um, the lights. Yeah, I, I can fix that. So, let me just check, because I think... Yeah, that works. I think what's happening is this is... Somewhere is filling up on power. Alright. You're online. I mean, if you wanted to, actually, why wouldn't we just put it here? Put it where? <laughs> yeah, kind of, kind of smart cables everywhere. Worst idea. Oh, put it back there. Yeah, that's... So this this power tunnel is now working. Can we put... We can put a piece of snow here then, then, right? What? So, and you can tell these are working because these generate a of power. Oh, they're actually making power now? Yeah, we're actually using the power. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Okay, which means the... Uh, hold on, they're full of tanks. We just need to get this backlog done. We need to start consuming a bunch of power. Great. Okay. Because then once that's done, that means the backup of fluid inside of it should start burning, which means the tank should go down, which means the canola presses should continue to eat canola. Right? Yes. Nice. Uh, so ideally, in an ideal system, we would actually be consuming canola slightly faster than we produce it. Yes. Wait, no, then we'd be operating at a deficit though. So, so I can't think bolts. of a way in which we produce enough canola to constantly keep it fueled without producing excess canola to have a problem. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Uh, so chat's so is, worried about overflow. That's a problem for next time. Just chill out, chat. Just chill out. It's fine. We can we can be a little. Let us have here. the success. <laughs> I, I I would rather something that works reasonably well and looks good, and is gonna do what we need it to do. Like again, the the the, the sort of the trade off with this show is like 
it's a three hour a this is essentially a three hour a week server for us right like obviously surge uses it a lot more um and is able to put more time in it but like we get three hours a week um so and kinda... we're making we're making like we're hooking things up uh you know quite we're not thinking uh, well i mean i'm thinking about how to do it but you know we could spend hours and hours pouring over the minutiae of how to wire everything up uh but we do need to be careful because we might need to turn this off I think the way to turn it off is we just unpower the cloches, cloches. So is there a way to on off switch the lasers there? So they're, I mean, as long as we depower the cloches, it's fine. Yeah. Well, can we not put a, well, can we just put a lever on the cloches? So they respond to a red snow signal. Yeah, if that's all we need to do. If we just turn the cloches off, we're fine. Uh, give me a second. Let me come back with the lever. Because if we just put levers on the cloches, that's... Easy peasy. Right, has that stopped working? That looks like it's stopped working. Yep. Done. Done. Yeah. Easy so, game. So we need to do that for all of them though, right? Yeah, we just put a lever oh. on each one of these and we just come we just kinda come by and take a look at the overall uh, I've actually tank I've stuff. actually had a, another suggestion. Uh we just flicked this lever. Oh, and we cut the water off to all of them? Right. Yeah, and, and then the water then, will stop. Because then they'll start so is that, did you turn the pump off? Yeah, so the pump's off. Uh, it'll empty of the water it's got. Uh, yeah, so it should have a lot of water in the system. So that's going to be a little bit less immediate. That's not like, a, that's not a panic on off switch compared to the no. other one. So, I mean, it's it's whether you want a lever on each of them or... I think what's... a lever on each on each is Wait, interesting what's... because then we can turn power on and off as we need it, right? What's We're the like, front ah. port? Can the front port be power? Uh, no. Oh, that's I, think you can, I think you might be able to take power into the sides. The front port, or in this case, the back port, is for fertilizer. Yeah, the so water isn't actually like bone meal into it. The water isn't actually going down in any of these. I don't know if that did anything, you know. Uh, it should be. Oh, maybe the fluid pump. Does the fluid pump not need the redstone signal? Maybe because the fluid pump is powered. Like, what would be nice is if we had one lever for the whole, for all eight, right? Uh, uh, I, I, mean, we I, almost, well. I almost think I prefer having individual control over each one. I think they actually look pretty cool yeah, with fair. a lever on them. And then, again, we can sort of, like fine-tune how much power goes into and out of the system by turning them on and off individually. There we go. Wait for it. Wait for it. Oh, yeah. Wait for it. <laughs> You're trying to get them all to the same point visually? Off. Uh, all right. Wait. We need some over here. Those ones don't matter. <laughs> yeah. All right. Wait for it. Oh, God. Wait for it. Off. Yeah, there we go. Nice. All right. There we go. So right now, we have a tremendous backlog of fuel in the tanks, in the pipes, and in the oil generators themselves. So it's almost like we can just leave this and then build the next side anyways next week, just because it's going to look really good and we can get it all done. And then when we need it, we turn it on. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, the, I mean, you could also do a thing where you detect how much power is in the system. Oh man, could we put like a comparator into it somewhere there and they turn on or off at certain points? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you could put a comparator onto it and say, right, okay, you know, turn these, turn these on, turn them off if the power drops. Um... Uh, I don't even need to, you could do it with XNet to actually read the power in a battery. I mean, we're out of time today, but that might be an idea to do for next week. Uh, so what what I do in what I do in my base is when my power drops below twenty percent, I turn all my generators on. When it hits eighty percent, I turn them all off. What's up, James? What are you doing? Uh, I was gonna say we should uh, we got to wrap up. Oh yeah. Um, because I got a meeting pretty quick. Uh, Avor uh, wait, Avolrium, Avolrium, seventeen months. Thank you so much for uh. 
Thank you so much, you three wonderful people, for being here and spreading positive positivity, energy, and giving us a safe room. Also, you brought me back to Minecraft, and I love it again so much. Hashtag love o'clock. Nice. <laughs> Uh, all right, so yeah, that's gonna do it for this week. Uh, next week we will uh, finish off this room, and uh, hopefully at that point we will be actually be set for power, um, which will be great because that's definitely something we are lacking. So uh, Uno and Serge, thanks as always for hanging out. Thank you very much, friends. Um, oh, thank you. If people can bye, see you later. Um. If people could throw out their uh, their two streams in chat, uh, so you guys can follow them, that would be great. Uh, okay, <coughs> excuse me. So, thank you everybody for hanging out and uh, joining me for Mine O'Clock today. That was a lot of fun. Uh, we'll be back next week with some more Mine O'Clock. Uh, in the meantime, uh, this stream is going to go offline, and then in about 20 minutes, uh, Talking Sim is going to go live, and I believe they're playing Risk of Rain 2 multiplayer today. Uh, and I believe Adam is joining Cameron and Corey, so that should be a lot of fun. Head over to uh, loadingreadyrun.com slash live uh, for our full schedule. Uh, the rest of this week is planned out. Beyond that, we don't know yet. Um, we are almost certainly going to be in the same position for the next couple weeks that we are currently in, which is a combination of people streaming from home, one person streaming from the office, and people calling in. Uh, we're going to have another meeting this Saturday to plan out the next two weeks uh, as well. Uh, so uh, we'll have a better idea of what's coming up uh, for the rest or for the beginning of April uh, there. Uh, 42 milliways. Thanks for the 25 month resub. Appreciate it. Um, yeah. So thanks everybody for hanging out. Um, appreciate the support as always. Um, uh, have a good day. I hope uh, you are doing everything that you need to do uh, to stay safe and keep yourself uh, entertained. Uh, we will be here to, to do the best we can for all of you. Um, so yeah, have a good day, and I will see you all later. Bye!